You can't be quiet. You can't be unemotional. This is an emotional game. An emotional game. And we gotta have it from the heart. We gotta play with heart tonight, guys. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Sorry, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gillette Stadium, where the Abbott and Green Wave and the Northridge Rams will be now facing off against each other in the Division Five State Championship. My name is Gil Santos. With me tonight is Gino Capaletti. Wow. <laughs> Sean Riley here with Kevin Whalen. We're up in the booth, sports fans, here at uh, this beautiful and beloved Gillette Stadium. Gonna have our national anthem here. Great contingent of Abbott fans here, despite the rain. We'll pause for the national anthem. Say the home of the wave. <laughs> Let's go away! Did they say home of the wave? <laughs> All right, we're ready to start the action here at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Kevin and I here with Bill Davis up above the field. We got Norm Casey down on the field. We got Colton McGrath here as our official statistician. Kevin, huge game against two big opponents. Northridge, we've you know we tried to study as much as we can about him. A very strong, very explosive team. They like to go to the air a lot. The question is whether the rain is going to affect their offensive abilities. Well, I think for the Green Wave, Sean, there's three things on the defensive side of the ball. What you got to do is control the line of scrimmage. Also, like, take away the slam pass. They like to do the slam pass, a lot of, like, pitching and catching. You got a quarterback that can throw the ball, but also he can move. So you really got to kind of close up the middle. You can't right. open up the middle. You got to have somebody in the middle on the defensive side of the ball that's watching the quarterback to make sure that he doesn't rip off those 10, 15 yard runs when he, like, basically, when he can't find anybody downfield. Best we can describe it, they play a lot like East Bridgewater's off. Offense, where the quarterback is a very good thrower, as Kevin said. They usually have three or four wide receivers out at any given time, and the quarterback can run the ball very well. In fact, this guy, Kobe Schofer, he's only a uh, junior. He's got uh, a lot, over 4,000 yards in passing and over, I believe, 2,000 in rushing. For a very talented young team, a lot of juniors and sophomores on the Northbridge Rams team, only three seniors out there starting on, on offense and defense combined. Green Wave are going to hope to win this at the trenches. Um, Northridge does not have a big strong, a big line. We don't know how strong they are, but they're not a big line. 
We're hoping that Abington can really put pressure on the quarterback and it really get to him before right. he throws. Right, and I think, you know, offensively for the Green Wave, I think the key, Sean, is control that line of scrimmage, get your ground game going. Right. The great thing about the Green Wave is that it's a very balanced attack. I think they run first, pass second, you know, which is I think is a little bit different from Northbridge. So it's going to be interesting to see how the weather affects, you know, the Northbridge Rams tonight. But we know that the Green Wave likes to run the ball first. That's and right. That, and that con ball control, time clock control is usually a big factor. This is one of the sixth game uh, that was here today at Gillette. And as the weather, ha as the day has gone on, the rain has continued and been pretty, you know, very c consistent. And we've seen now the ball, especially getting into the second, third, fourth quarter, getting soaked and seeing some fumbles and some and some difficulty with receivers trying to catch the ball. The green wave will be kicking off left to right across your television screen. Lucas Cherisani will be doing the honors. We're going to play 10 minute quarters here in the Super Bowl, and there are only three timeouts per team in each half. The Green Wave has been playing 11 minute quarters in the regular season. They have five timeouts, so it's three timeouts in this game. So they have to use better clock management as if, if, if you're a coach. So here we go. Good contingent of Green Wave fans out in the stands with their rain gear, some of them underneath the overhang on the far side of the field. And we are ready to start the state championship for Division Five football. The Green Wave against the Rams of Northbridge High, which is just south of Worcester in the middle of the Commonwealth. Here we go. Luke with a nice, nice end high. over and kick coming down right at the 10, 11 yard line. That's gonna be like Brooks over the 25. He's gonna be up about the 29 yard line for the Northbridge will take over there. Chandler Brooks number 80 is their go-to guy when they uh, look to go to the air, one of the receivers. Green Wave had a bunch of players in on that tackle, Sean. So it's gonna be first and 10 from their 29 yard line. At the 29. Look to see either two wideouts each side. Sometimes they'll go three to one, one or the other. Sometimes four on one side, and they go two and two. Chauffeur in the shotgun with the running back. The running back is usually Jake Wood, one of the captains. Sitting out front, they're showing up the middle, looking to throw. Big Push rush, they're getting out on Kobe. Kobe's rolling, looking for some time to knock away. Good job by Cellini and Malafront. They put a lot of pressure on. Kobe had no time to set up yeah. and great downfield coverage. Absolutely. Nice job by Cellini. And you said, Sean, Malafronte right up the middle there. Really showing blitz right from the start. Was able to push him out of the pocket. And he really just couldn't fed it, set his feet to be able to throw the ball downfield. And you see they were looking for that quick slant, but it was covered well. So Kobe had to keep the ball and look for a secondary receiver. But there was none out there. This is an artificial turf surface, obviously, here at Gillette Tatum. It's not a thick grass. It's a very short grass turf. And here we go again with a similar lineup, two wideouts to each side for Schofer. Green Wave with three down linemen. Carly now dropping back. They so send a bubble screen. screen over to Brooks. Now Brooks, nice job by Landers, shedding a block. And then up comes Carly, knocks him out of bounds. Pick up about five on the play. Nice play, athletic play as well. Everyone getting out there, Sean, covering that, making it third and about six here for the uh, Northbridge. That's right, they do mark him a four-yard pickup, so it'll be third and six at the 33-yard line. You know, it's interesting, two quick plays there, both passes, and obviously, you know, the green wave, I think on a night like tonight, it's going to really affect your game as the game goes on, Sean. Those balls are dry right now, but as yep. the game goes on, it's, that's going to become like a brick trying to throw a brick. Again, the White House each side, Chopper in the shotgun. Oh, movement, and it's going to be encroachment, I would believe. We'll give him five way. yards. Make it, could be a third and one here third if it's one. on Abington. That's too bad because we'd like to, well, let's see what happens here. Yep, neutral zone infraction, infraction against the green wave. So it'll be third and one now with the ball moved up to about the 38. Let's see if they run the ball here with a third and one situation, Sean. We tend to see that with Schofer with a third and you know less than four. He likes to do the quarterback draw, come right up the middle. We'll see if Sam Bam Malafronte can uh, can't hold his ground. Get a big BOD in the middle there, right on the five foot seven starting center uh, for the Rams. Man coming in motion, putting three men on the near side. Schofer fakes it, trying to break, goes right, gonna get the first down, gets over the 40 to 45, up to crosses midfield, about the 47 yard line. So they try to get the secondary move into the near side with the motion, and then Schofer, Schofer goes back the other way. Yeah, that play was really nice set up. He went off tackle, where there was nothing. The Green Wave was looking probably up the middle, as you said, Sean, and really it was just opened up on the right side there, and Schofer had a lot of running room. Fall mark to the Green Wave, 47 yard line, be first and 10 here, and the opening stanza of the Division 5. State Championship here at Gillette Stadium, December 6, 2014. 
It's about, what would you say, about 38 degrees and it's raining. A, it's a cool night. It's, most people would say miserable night, but it's a great night for football. Again, the shotgun to Schofer. 98% of the time looking to pass. Big rush. Cellini. Oh, just Puts over it up me. now. And it's going to be knocked away Colley. by Colley. Yeah. Good job by Colley. The intended receiver is number 28, Michael Quinn, who has kind of spun around. And one thing I noticed to watch some of the films, Schofer tends to float it when he goes down long. Deep. Well, Sean, I tell you, Aiden Colley, as we've said all year, is probably one of you know, the best, you know, all around ball players on the team there. You know, and it's interesting, he wasn't watching the guy, he was watching the ball all the way. So Aiden Colley with a nice defensive play, knocking that ball away. Second and 10 at the Greenway 47 yard line. They send Frazier, number 10, out wide to the far side. Brooks, Chandler Brooks out wide to the near side. The slot in the near side. Blitz coming up the middle, across the screen, Blitzbick, screen. And it's going to be, yeah, it is. And Sam gets him right there. No gain on the play. Mel Good job. Melafronte, as the spy, is staying back, watching the quarterback. And, you know, in that responsibility, it feeds perfectly into defending the screen pass there. Oh, he was the only one there. They had five, six guys in on him. And Melafronte was the only guy there. If he did not make that tackle, that would have been a big play. Oh, and Larry also there, ready to help out if need be. But Melafronte took him down. Now third and a long 10 at the 47 yard line. Eight minutes and 25 seconds and rolling here in the first quarter. No score. That's the opening drive of the game. Here we go, Liz. Hamilton out wide to the far side again. Chandler out wide near side. Now slots on each side for Schofer. Motion, but no, no, no encroachment. Flag. They throw. Going across. It is Panthers. Panthers. Oh, oh knocked down. But good job by Landers getting in front of the, again, there's that slant pattern. And they go to the, the man he likes, number 80, Chandler Brooks. He's a junior 5'11 wide receiver. Well, Green Wave did a great job of getting back, Sean. I'm surprised that the center didn't snap that ball prematurely to catch him off sides. That would have given him a free play. So, but the Green Wave makes it a fourth down, fourth and about nine here. See if they punt it or if they go. They kind of do a pooch punt, I think. Right, Sean? D d they don't punt very often, Kev, because right. they're a very offensive-oriented team. But... With the ball at the 47, and as Kevin said, fourth and nine, it looks like they're going to line up for a punt formation. Got Donovan's Dunham. going to stay back Collie. along with Colley. There he goes. The punter now at his 40. Watch out for the snap and the grab here with the wet ball. High snap. A slow snap. As you say, gets it away cleanly. Going. Colley has it. Colley's way at the 15 yard line. Gets the handoff to Donovan. Donovan, oh! Donovan gets tripped up at the 13 yard line. Good open field tackle by, I believe that was number 28, Michael Quinn. Yeah. Well, Quinn's there all around player, Sean. Michael Quinn, number 28, he got down there, good coverage on that. Donovan just couldn't get going. If he broke that, they had another guy about three or four yards downfield. But good coverage there by Northbridge, putting the green wave in tough field position. 7.56 here on the scoreboard. Clock in the first quarter. Abington with the ball at their own 13-yard oh, line. Green wave defense doing a nice job, really only giving up that really one um, scamper there by Schofer. Here come the green wave. Collie out wide to the far side with single coverage on him. Two men in the backfield. They put Martin in motion to give left side to Donovan. Donovan, big hole. Donovan breaks it over the 20. Donovan up in his feet down to the 28-yard line. First down for the Green Wave. Well, the wing tee, this with the Green Wave run, Sean, and you can do a lot of different options off the wing tee. And we're, we're trying to see if the Abington offensive line can establish some domination down in the line of scrimmage. Well, and if that's right. an indication, then good things to come. But a long game in front of us. Right, absolutely. But, you know, it's always great. You get a 14-yard pickup when you're down up at the 13-yard line. That's nice to see. Good blocking by Sarasani and O'Donovan in there. First and 10 for Abington. Martin comes in motion this way now. They look to throw. He gets hit on the... On the so he jives no whistle. On no, no whistle. Gonna, I thought that was a forward pass there. And I, you know, Kevin and I would know. Right, I think that was a forward pass. But they're mocking it that that was a... It's, it's almost like Dwyer got hit. Yeah, well, he did get hit as he was releasing the ball. And they're going to call yeah. it as a fumble, basically. You know, loud, or, sorry, a loose backwards pass. So good pressure there, and obviously, you know, Collie was was um, smart enough to jump on that ball, Sean. Not just assuming that it was going to be a. It looked like it did look like it was a little bit of a lateral there. It was a blitz coming up the middle. So here comes the Green Wave now, second in about 14. Ball at their 23-yard line. Give second man throws Donovan. Donovan on his still feet, on his feet and then gets it up to about the 27-yard line. Get tripped up. Yeah. About the original line of scrimmage, third and long 10 now for Abington. So but 
That second down play kind of hurt him there. Absolutely. Whenever you have a negative play on that second down, Sean, it really is, makes it, uh, or first down, actually. It was first down. Having a negative play on yeah. that first down makes it difficult. You always want to try to, again, try to get first down, make it so you get three or four or five yards, make it, you know, much easier to get the yardage on the, you know, second and third down. Malafronte at center. One man in the backfield is Glavin. Looking to throw Dwyer. Dwyer. He's got a lot of real, real estate. Room. He's going to turn it upfield. And Dwyer is going to be taken down short of the first down. Picks up about six. Well, one thing I've been watching a little tape on the Northbridge team, Sean, it does seem like they, the quarterback is able to run, you know, quite a bit on them. And that's one of the things I think with Dwyer being an elusive quarterback, I think you're going to see some big runs out of Dwyer tonight. So the ball mocked up at the 33 yard lane. Green Wave now put into a punting uh, situation here. Dwyer is uh, in. Fourth and five for Abington at their own 33. I think uh, Donovan, they're going to use with Donovan. Uh... Yep, Donovan and Dwyer in the backfield, which they can use the pooch kick or who knows. Dwyer looking, now puts it up in the air. Going to go out of bounds in the near side. No, it's still in bounds, oh. rolling. Nice roll inside. for the green wave. Yes, all the way down so to the 30-yard 30. line. And Donovan gets the ball. So that was a nice, what, 20, 30, about 35, 36-yard kick there. So... Both offensive stall on their first possession. Let's see if the Green Wave defense can come up and shut down the Rams quickly and get this ball back. Get well, the one the thing zone. the Green Wave def offense did, though, Sean, is you know they did get a couple, of, uh, did get a first down, got out from that field position and being down to 13. So they put their defense in a decent field position spot of the 30-yard line. Hamilton out wide to the far side, number 16. Again, Brooks out wide near side, slots to each side. They put Frazier in motion to the far side. Give. No, quarterback keep. Schofer trying to get around the corner. Good job by Colley and company. No gain there. Maybe a loss of one. Right. Colley doing a nice job of coming off his coverage there and blocking, doing the run support coming up. You know, number seven, we've seen him do that all game long. You know, and, and Cellini once again doing a nice job of stretching that out and pushing him outside. Loss of two on the play. Let's bring up second and 12 at the 28 yard line. Five minutes, 12 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Land is out wide and near side as the uh, cornerback of the near side. You see Owen Leary, number two, on the far side. Man for man coverage. Ridden, the deep safety. Showing Here blitz from Malafronte coming up the middle, putting pressure on Schofer, and he's they're going to get him down. Schofer is still loose. running, trying to get away, and now going to be hit down again back at the 21 Ray yard Emery. line. Ray Emery coming back. A lot of green in there. Certainly was. The Green Wave was blitzing all the way. He didn't have any time at all. And the Green Wave had four players there pushing him around. And if, I'll tell you, though, Shof is an athlete to get away from those four guys. He sure is. Well, let's see if we can exhaust him and keep doing it. That's about the second time they've had him on the run early here in the game. So now ball all the way back to the 22. It'll be a third and 18 here. Don't know if they'd try to go to the screen once again so quickly, and that, especially when it was snuffed out so well the last series of downs. Again, wideouts in each side. They really have not attempted really to run a real run play yet other no. than the quarterback draw or quarterback run. Jake Wood is the running back standing next to the quarterback chauffeur. A show blitz, a little delayed blitz going on deep. Ball's in the air though. It comes out of his hands funny and it's going to be incomplete. Yeah. That is the wet ball. Yeah, Landis had great coverage there and also had Collie there for help. So really Green Wave was in a great position there. So that's going to bring a punt situation now. Well, the good news for the Green Wave defensively too, Sean, we were talking at the top of the game how they like to do pitch and catch. And what I mean like that is just, you know, guys releasing on the inside and just a nice easy throw across the middle on that, you know, on that slant route. And the Green Wave has done a nice job of taking that away so far today or tonight. Jane LeBrooks to kick. Donovan's back by himself. They're going for the block. Donovan standing at midfield. Good snap. Almost oh. block. Carly. I think he got he, that, he Sean. Got that. I think he got that. That's only going to be a kick that's well, it's going out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Great field position. I think Carly got Wave. that. I think Carly got the block there. He blocked the extra point in the last game. Yeah. So Aiden Carly, you could tell the green wave was coming on. There was no no return on. It was strictly a uh, all-out blitz. I mean, on the block there. So the green wave. You know, special teams, and we saw that against um, Bishop Fenwick, Sean. The special teams for the green wave were just phenomenal. 4.02 on the first quarter clock. Uh, Abington now with a great opportunity with the ball marked at the Rams 35 yard line. Well, and that's what you want, Sean. You want the field position. You want the field position. You want the field position to, uh, you know, give your offense a short field, and the Green Wave has it. Give Donovan. Right side, Donovan gets hit in the backfield. 
By number 54, Keenan Quinava. He's one of their captains. Good player, both sides of the ball. Yeah, they had a really good push on this left side. Loss of about two. So I, th I do believe if, if he didn't get that punch on on the replay it showed, it looks like it may have been like the, he short-legged it yeah. to try to get it off. Well, we're up here in the press box, and we can see the instant replay from Comcast, and it did look, as Kevin said, he either tipped it or he certainly did not kick it the way he wanted to kick it. We got Donnell and looks like Dunham in the backfield. Hand off to Donnell, the right side. Donnell gets the line of scrimmage, picks up about three. Bring up second and nine. I'm oh, sorry, third and nine for Abington. Well, and the Green Wave is definitely in third down territory. And one of the things we we're talking about, Sean, first downs, first downs, first downs. And now you put yourself in a, in a situation where it's third and nine. You really want to get, like, you know, positive yardage on those first downs to make it a lot easier, make, you know, makeable third down situations. So let's see what the Green Wave put together here. Rain still continues to fall here. It's not, it's not a pouring hard rain. It is just a con constant rain. And it is soaking the players and soaking the ball out there. They'll keep trying to dry the balls and switch them in and out, but at some point, it's not going to happen. Martin in motion. Give Donovan right side. Look at the hole. Oh, Donovan, oh, gets tripped up. Gets close to the first down. He's going to be about three yards short, but he just got tripped up by his ankle. And otherwise, he was going to be inside the 20-yard line with a burst. So it's fourth down. Probably something the Green Wave will consider going for here at the 28-yard line. Well, they'll definitely be going for it. You know, Sean, it looked like, too, is he was just shifting it into that next gear, you know, when he got tripped up. So... So fourth and three at the 28-yard line. Green Wave offensive line here looking to explode off the line of scrimmage. Two minutes, 15 seconds left to go in the first quarter. No score here in the Division Five State Championship. The Abner Green Wave and the Northbridge Rams. Two men in the backfield behind Dwyer, the quarterback. They put Dunneman in motion. Looking to throw is Dwyer. Dwyer got a man open. Ran oh, it, not a down. Good defensive play by Schofer. Incomplete, will be a turnover on downs. Yeah, I think he just had to pass that ball a little bit sooner there, Sean. It's like he was open and Shuffle was able to close it down pretty quickly. So, geez, it's the 28-yard line. I think this is the, they've started at the 28, the 20, the 29, the 30, and the 28-yard line. So they've had the same field position that right. Northridge has the whole, whole game. You are correct, Kevin. It's student analysis. They started at the 29, they started at the 30, and now they started at the 28. See if the Green Wave can hold them once again. Two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Score nothing, nothing. Frazier out wide to the far side. Brooks out wide to the near side. Put a man coming out in motion towards Brooks. Under the center they go, and they go look for Brooks with the. Oh, he Brooks drops it, it, and there's that wet ball. Incomplete. I wonder if, if Schofer being under the snap is because of the wet ball or just because well, they wanted that quick sh that quick slant well one of the things that, like, that looked like they were setting up it looked like they were trying to set up a, a bubble screen on the outside because he was blocking and then he just kind of breaks off into a slant route there so a little bit different look it looked like you know it looked like they were trying to deceive the defense into thinking that it was going to be a bubble screen on the outside and then 80 slides off and then goes into a slant route second down chauffeur looking over his offense Again, puts a man out in motion near Brooks. See if they go for the bubble screen here. Collie looking to jump it. Oh, big oh! rush. Hits him as he releases. Who was that? That's Salini. That's Salini coming Salini. up the middle. George Salini, I'll tell you, the addition of that kid has just been huge for this defense. It's given the bookend there on the other side of Lucas Arasani. Third and ten. So, he's just big and quick, Sean. He's able to get in there. Both Luca and him, George Salini, are both able to just get in there and get off the ball. So let's see what they try to pull out here. I mean, they're going to the air every time. Is it going to be the quarterback draw? Are they going to try to do the slant? They like to do the hook and pitch. They do it all. They got two wideouts to each side now. Again, Jake Wood, Jake Wood, the running back, standing next to Schofer on to his right. Looking to throw his Schofer. He's got some time. Schofer going to down and out over here. And he's going nope. to be, oh, nice grab, buddy. Nope. He's going to be out of bounds. Mm. Out nice. of bounds. It was an unbelievable catch there by number 28. There's Quinn, Michael Quinn. Quinn. Yeah, it's just, just a great catch. But So it'll be fourth and ten. Could be th it's wow. a three and out there. That was a one-handed grab. What a grab. Unfortunately, it was out of bounds. Wow. What a catch. He pulled that in. Wow. So from the 28-yard line, the Rams will set up for the apparent punt. They'll put Donovan back. When a kid makes a catch like that, Sean, I got to go. Like, even if it's out of bounds, I think I got to oh, yeah. you know, unbelievable catch. The interception earlier by the Marshfield the kid play, it was, was unbelievable. Phenomenal. They got some... Uh, Got some issues here on the special teams. Substitution here. Donovan standing at his own 42-yard line. Brooks. Good snap. Oh, Collie blocks it, and now he's got he's scrambling. 
And then BOD oh, tries oh, to strip him up. First. He's did nope, he? No, he did not, he did not get, get the first, first down. down. Going to be out at the 35-yard line. So we're going to replay what we did the last possession. Absolutely. So Carly snuffed him out. The Green Wave was fortunate that because it became a broken play that he didn't get the first, but he's just like about two yards short. Helped three yards. Was that uh, supposed to be a fake or was it no, just because no, Carly came just, in so just quickly? Carly came in so quick and he's, you know what, I think he's got, he's in his head a little bit now, Sean, after that first time. He's right. looking for him. So first down for the Green Wave. You know, when you can only give a good football team like the Green Wave a short field like this so many times. First down and um, first and 10 from the 35. Let's go Green Wave. Sam Bam Malafronte out over the center. So big men to his left and his right. Lucas Charisani in the right guard. Two men in the backfield. They put Leon in motion. Give right Dunham. side. Dunneman gets hit. He's going to be grabbed by the ankle by number 28, Michael Quinn. Quinn coming up from the linebacker position. Yeah, Quinn is a heck of a player, Sean. Number 28 for the uh, Northbridge Rams. Bring up second down. Pick up of about one on the play. Haven't seen really any outs outside for the Green Wave yet. This is their third possession here. But we really haven't seen any Jets or anything of that nature. I'd like to see trying to get Donovan out in space. See if they can stretch it out a little bit on the, on the offensive side here. Call out wide, far side. Fraser will try to pick him up. I backfield behind Dwyer. They pitch left. Student body left. Martin with the ball. Oh, nice block. Trying to get the corner. Does get it's the good. corner. Got the first down and down the sideline about the 22-yard line. The sophomore. You know, I thought they were going to do that with showing the speed of, um, of, Dwyer, of Donovan, rather. But then they ended up using Martin. And Martin, as you know, runs very effectively. And what a nice job getting out there. Get, picking up about 12 on the play. Number 20, Jake McNeil checking himself out. He got... He got clocked by one of the green wave blockers and he does not look healthy right now hopefully it'll be okay later in the uh, game uh -oh. yeah. so the ball marked down at the 23 yard line after that big play by martin some good downfield blocking and the green wave come up to the line of scrimmage first and 10. 45 seconds left to go here in the first quarter i backfield done him in the deep man they give up, up top is glavin glavin dives forward up to the 20. picks up about three Bring up second down. So clock continues the roll here in the first quarter. Go. And that's what you want, Sean, is you know that you know it's a four down territory, obviously. So you pick up three downs, it's enough. You know, if you do that four times, you're gonna get that first down, keep the chains moving. So uh, Lavin doing a nice job, and as we've always said, that you know that's been a huge play for the Green Wave over the year, just that dive play right over A gap. Here we go now, Abbott with second and seven, the ball at the 20 yard line. Dwyer puts a man in motion. They pitch to Donovan, trying to go right. Good block, and Donovan it's now a, turns it inside. Donovan, oh, back inside the down! Man of Muskegon! Sean Donovan for 20 yards out. Puts the great wave on the board first here in the D5 state championship. Nice block up front by the green wave, taking him right out there. Donovan was able to cut back against the grain to bring it in for the 20-yard TD. 35-yard drive as they crank up the music here at Gillette Stadium with only five seconds left to go in the first quarter. Green Wave going for one, it looks like. Cummins lining up, they got the swing and gate. Now Ridden coming out to hold. Of course, Ridden is the backup quarterback. See what they do in this play. Side snap, gives it to Lions. Lions, he's Lions in the two. The two. <laughs> Lions with the rush, puts the Green Wave up by two. Dave Lions number 21 for the Green Wave. Nice job by the Green Wave, taking advantage of the, of the defense. You know, the defense giving them a short field there. Nice job of taking <laughs> advantage of that, you know, from the 35-yard line, punching it in to go ahead. Eight to nothing here in the first quarter. Five seconds remaining in this first quarter. Bill's trying to catch you dancing up here. We're happy for these boys in green, but still. It's not pretty. We early. don't want it. Yeah, there's certain FCC rules that don't allow uh, <laughs> certain things, Bill. That's one of them. It is one of them. Good first quarter for the Green Wave, really keeping uh, Northridge in their own zone, for, for ex for except for maybe one or two plays when they get over uh, midfield. But they got to keep that pressure on. And right now, I like what I'm seeing with the offensive line and really the defensive line putting pressure on Kobe Show. Well, I like the pressure that the Green Wave, they're being aggressive out there, Sean. You know, and that's what you want to see. And obviously, you know, it's, you're not going to stop Donovan all the time. The kid's just so explosive, he's going to break them loose. And that's the thing. You keep giving him the ball, he's going to break the big ones. All right, Luca Charisani to kick off. We got Schofer and Brooks back deep, standing at their own 10 yard line. Charisani squibs it down, picked up at the 35 yard line. 
And some... it's going to be taken down at about the 44-yard line. It's a pretty good field position to start for the Rams, and that's going to be the last play, the only play, well, sorry, the final play of the, the first, first quarter. quarter. Well, well, Sean, we were just talking. I mean, I, I, you got to love what the defense has done so far. They've really given up, what, one first down. That's all they've given up. Um, so far tonight, so they've just done a great job defensively really putting pressure on you know the pressure from uh, from Luca and the coverage You know the Luca and Cellini and Malafronte up front and you know BOD doing a great job up front And then of course Collie and, and Landers and and Larry doing a great job and you know covering people in behind You know on the uh, on the pass routes Hey, I want to send a shout out to our water boys today our hydration management staff Drew Donovan Chris Lucier and Ed Riley over there and I want to send a special shout out to Ed Riley and Kayla Riley. Happy birthday, December 8th. Not Ed the coach. No, not Ed the coach. His children, Ed and Kayla, my uh, niece and nephew. Happy birthday to Kayla and Ed. Happy birthday. I can't believe how old they are. Oh, it's like it just gosh. means we're getting old, Sean. Here's the Abner Green Wave cheerleaders out there at midfield. Waiting go. for the right music, and I don't think they're playing the right music. Just go. Just do something. <laughs> I want to remind folks at home also, if you want to recommend or nominate anyone to the Abingdon High School Athletic Hall of Fame, please log on to the Abingdon Public Schools website, go to the high school's athletic page, and you'll see the nomination page, the nomination form for the Abingdon High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Nomination forms are due by, no, by February 1st, and we'll be nominating and having another induction ceremony in the fall of 2015. Again, the Abingdon High School Athletic Hall of Fame, please log on to the school website, go into the high school's athletic page, and you'll see the forms. Or you can always call the athletic department at 982-0070. So it's gonna be first and <clears throat> 10 for Northbridge at the uh, their own 44. <clears throat> I wanna thank all of our fall sponsors who support all of Greenway Sports. Trufant Real Estate, Deanne's Restaurant, Robert J. McSunner Insurance, Old Town Real Estate, Law Officer Sean Riley, Timber Lanes, Cairo Associates, Quayley Funeral Home, Old Town Real Estate, Eddie Billy's Garage, Glen Alla Point, Depot Restaurant, Slattery Insurance, and Midway Auto. Special shout out to Snyder Jewelers, who will be awarding their MVP watch for the MVP of each team in each oh, season. Here we got, we got all diamond stuff. formation now, four wideouts to the far side. Schofer is going to be the only man in the backfield. Now they have a couple of formations here where they do a quick bubble screen and also, they try to use this so as where the, they try to pick each other. So what the Green Wave is doing is they're going to have they have three guys over there. So they've got Collie over there, they got Landers, and also they've got um, I can't see who's, but then they have it's Redden. Redden, Redden's over there as well. But then you have George Salini who's kind of playing in the middle. So if he passes it, he's going to be tracking him down from behind. He moved. Oh, it's he moved. He moved. Yeah, it's going to be a procedure call against. Yeah. The Rams, his land is like a good shot well, the at kid, him. The kid tried to act like he was like punching him, but it was like he just jammed him up. He just went on the movement. So, so they were in the heads there, the Rams. Well, and I think that's exactly what you want to do. You want that pressure. When you have a timing offense like the Northbridge Rams, you want to get up in there and right, get right up in their chest, hit them, knock them off that timing. See if they come out. No, they changed the play. They put two wide outs to each side now. Again, Jake Wood's going to stay in the backfield as a blocking back with his quarterback. They give the wood up the middle. He gets hit uh, by Luca. Sarasani and who was the first? That was um, Sam Van Malafronte. Malafronte. He's having a heck of a game for himself here tonight, Sean. Pick up a one. will be second and 14. Uh, call it second and 13. They give him two on the play. Ball at the 41 yard line. Here we are in the opening minute of the second quarter. The Green Wave up 8 to nothing in the Division 5 Eastern Mass Championship game at Gillette Stadium. Abingdon got here by beating Bishop Fenwick and Northbri Northbridge beat Pittsfield. Again, two men, really three receivers. They got two wings, a slot to the far side, wide out to the near side. Shotgun Watch for the draw. Schofer. Watch the draw. Big Watch blitz draw coming screen. up the middle. And he's going to take it down. Who's that? Sam Malafronte is having a heck of a game tonight. Schofer, again, great downfield coverage, but an intense blitz. Something that Kobe Schofer has not seen out in whatever league they play in. The wow. South Worcester Conference, I believe it is. Wow, heck of a play there. The green wave is just like, it's almost like, the, you know, it's a revolving door there. Nobody's getting hit as they're coming in. There's so Sam many Mal green shirts coming. Sam Malafronte spent more time on this side of the ball than the green wave side, Sean, tonight. Green wave defensive lines overpowering. You see the big men down there, number 72, Brian O'Donovan, number 56, Luca Cherasani, number 43, Ray Emery. And then you got Cellini and Malafronte and Martin at the linebacker crew. It's third and almost 25 here now. It is. Three, now going four wide outs to the far side of the field. 
Leary shifts over. Schofer going to be a draw. Steps up, gets hit in the line of scrimmage, still... breaks, and now only gets about three or four on the play. BOD on the tackle. Number 72 for the Green Wave was just able to do it, just able to trip him up there. One of the captains for the Green Wave. Only picked up about three. It looked like he was going to get a little bit more, and BOD was able to grab his ankles. It's going to be fourth and about 22. About, yeah, fourth and 22. Going to look to punt again. I believe that's the second possession in a row they've gone backwards. Brooks to punt. Carly and Dunneman back. Kick is away. It's going to go Dunneman's way, but it's going to bounce and going to just roll inside the 25 to the 23 yard line. Well, Green Wave takes over here at the 23 with 744 remaining in this uh, second quarter. I'll tell you, the defense has just been phenomenal here tonight, Sean. You know, they, they actually ended up losing yardage on that possession. So in four possessions, I think they only have probably about 20 yards. So the Green Wave defense has really answered the call. See if the uh, Abner offense now can just have a nice orchestrated drive downfield, take time off the clock, keep Northbridge's offense off the field, but put some more points on the scoreboard for the Green Wave. Sean Riley, Kevin Whalen, Bill Davis, Colton McGrath, and Noam Casey bringing this Abbott and Greenway football action. Here it is, the last game of the season, the Division Five State Championship at Gillette. Ryan Dwyer, the senior quarterback, under his center with two men in the backfield. Dwyer gives to Leon, Donnell Leon, look for a hole on the right side. Leon, nothing doing there, gets, gets stopped at the, maybe a pickup of one, maybe. Leon had a strong game against Whitman Hanson on Thanksgiving Day. This team's really played well, though. Yeah, Northbridge has really stopped Abington pretty well on the first down, Sean. It's, it's, it seems like you know they've been able to stop that run on that first down, doing a nice job on that, making it long, you know second and third and longs. Second and nine. They didn't move the uh, line of scrimmage marker there, but you can see the ball is at the 24. Line of scrimmage was the 23, the original line. There they go. Again, two men in the backfield behind Dwyer. Carly out wide, far side, looking to throw. Looking across He's the middle, Donovan deep. Oh, ball came out funny, and now Dunham goes back. No flags, no 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 connection. Is see that ball came out of his hands and just was floating up there. But luckily for uh, the Green Wave, number 12, Kobe Schofer, is back to the ball. Green Wave fans are booing. They thought it was interference, but no call there. It's to be third and nine. Uh, Schofer kind of ran over Donovan as Donovan was trying to get back against the ball. We're just watching the replay here on the, the uh, but, giant screen. You know, in that situation, it was the ball was underthrown, so it's not. You know, he was in between the ball and Donovan. He had position. Third and nine. Shotgun for Dwyer. Donovan in motion. It's a keeper for Dwyer up the middle. Dwyer gets hit though at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing. Well, he get, picks up maybe three. Bring up fourth down for Abbott. So the Rams defense finally holds the Green Wave. And Green Wave will put out the punt team. With the ball marked at the line of scrimmage will be now the 27 yard line. See so if they uh, line up for the punt or Dwyer's coming in. Are they gonna do the pooch? I think they're again? gonna do the pooch. They like doing that. I think you get pretty good coverage down there. Clock rolling under six and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Land is out wide, far side, Collie. Uh, sorry, wide to the near side, Collie to the far side. Well, I think the effectiveness of the pooch punt, too, is that you always seem to get the roll forward to your advantage. Donovan now gets it, going this way, looking to kick, gets it away. It's a long, it's a low rolling ball. It's just going to keep rolling. Donovan using his, his old soccer skills to get down to the 29-yard line. Well, he's lefty versus kicking. He kicks lefty versus uh, right. Dwyak, who kicks righty. So decent, again, at the 29-yard line for Northbridge. That's right. 6.02 on the clock here in the second quarter. Abington up. 8 to nothing. As oh. they score with a 20-yard Donovan jaunt. Well, you know, you really want to see the green wave, Sean, get another touchdown there. You know, I get a yeah. little nervous with just the one touchdown because right. anything can happen. Even though you got eight points, you know, you get that second score. It just makes your life a lot easier because, you know, you put yourself in a position where any fluky thing can happen and the other team can tie I'm it up. I'm looking for Luca Cherasani with the uh, sack, scoop, and six. <laughs> I don't mind that, Sean. All right, shotgun for Schofer. Puts a man in motion. They fake it. They come, come back, back, coming across. They, oh, there's Emery with a great play. Stayed Bonus at home. Brown, that's right. Stayed at home. You Everybody. Know, you know, the, the thing about football is you do your job, and his job was basically to stay at home right there. He did that and came up with the, you know, the nice negative play on first down for the Green Wave D. That's what Coach Keller tells him. Do your job. And if everybody does their own job, then the team really is going to have success. And that's what we're seeing thus far here 
uh, midway through the second quarter. Five and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Chandler out wide to the far side. Out wide near side is going to be Hamilton with slot backs in the middle of each. Schofer again with Jake next to him. Schofer keep keeps it. Trying to get around the left Just side. Now pops it outside. Oh, Landers gets blocked from behind. And then Colley knocks him out of bounds. It'll be short of the first. A lot of whistles, but no flags. Ball gets up to about the 35 yard line. So it's going to be third and about four here for the, the Rams. Schofer wanted to take it in between the tackles, but there was nothing doing that, so he had to pop it outside, not let the, the Abbott and lateral pursuit get to him. And again, Cawley, one of the best open field tacklers we've seen in some time. He was in hot pursuit, and he did a nice job of getting up there. You know, and Landers was out there too, and that's the thing, Sean. Yeah. You know, he kind of pushed him back in where Cawley had the pursuit to pick him up. Third and a long four now, a tight formation here. A movement, and it's going to move him back five. Big break there for the Green Wave. <laughs> so Abington, I mean... Northridge line's got to be nervous. They must be like looking at these big bowls in green, ready to come at them, well, and they're, they're flinching. Well, and that's a huge, that's a huge penalty right there. You know, yeah. making a third and four. You know, now making it third and nine. So they move it back to the thirty-yard line. They get back into the huddle. Do the Rams? And they come out. See if they come out. They do come out with a tight formation once again. Chauffeur in the shotgun. Chauffeur fakes it now looking to throw but no receiver that's what's that that could be grounding is that grounding he's there's no receiver down there there's no receiver he's inside the tackle box the receiver was hung up there's no receiver it's an incomplete pass but i'm not sure why that makes not. it fourth and nine here so the ball at the 30. well i think you know you would have to have a receiver go out sean yeah for him to catch it and since you didn't, <laughs> they literally did not have anybody go out. So I don't no. know. I don't know what that was. If they tried to see if they, I don't know what that call was. It's, it's like a, it's almost. I, I can't explain that. I haven't seen yeah, that. I know. So it looked like he tried to go in, like he was faking it, and then there's somebody released. You know what happened? Probably the Green Wave probably didn't let their guy release. Right. I gotta, Green Wave kind of just held him and blocked him in, kept him in. Bill getting me a shot of the scoreboard mm -hmm. there. So and now, oof! Do not adjust your screens at home, that. sports fans. This is. Kevin Whalen, I'm Sean Riley, Bill Davis behind the camera. Bill, give me a face. This is the man that makes it all happen. I know a lot of you know him, but thank you, Bill, for everything you do. And Norm Casey down there. This is the last game that Norm's doing. Norm, I believe, is down at the 18-yard line, 17-yard line, getting a shot of some of the fans in the stands for the Green Wave. I want to congratulate the National Honor Society students for recently inducted November 18th. Christina Howe, Sam Malafronti, Troy Panico, Caroline Bradbury, Nicole Bradbury, Alyssa Devlin, Brian Diver, Jennifer Feeney, Ryan Landers, Alexis LaPointe, and we'll give you the rest of them after this play. All right, so punt formation now. Donovan, the only man back, standing at his own 42. See if Donovan can get uh, get a good return here, Sean. Chandler Brooks to kick and flags. I think there's going to be more movement. Yeah, I think so. More well, movement. They, let me continue then with the National Honor Society. Uh, mm -hmm. Ian McLeod, Taylor Marston, Haley McKay, Caitlin, Caitlin Malloy. Tyler Moulton, M Michael Nickley, Brooke Ritchie, Hannah Rogers, and Jake Snyder. And they do move him back five yards to the 24-yard line. Well, you had Big Luca on, this um, on the right side of Northridge, and he was, like, ready to go down onto the uh, – really get out after it on the, on the uh, punter there, and I think they moved a little bit trying to get out and block him. Now Donovan standing at midfield to await the kick. Green Wave's going to get good field position here. Good snap to Brooks. Gets it up and away. just missed it. Fair catch called by Donovan at the 45-yard line where the Green Wave will take over with 4.56 on the clock. Well, good field position. I like that, Sean, as you said, 4.56 remaining. All your timeouts as well, so the Green Wave's got plenty of time to march this down the field. <clears throat> you know, and that's the difference, Sean. I mean, the difference between starting at your own 20 or, you know, you know, 25 or 20 and starting at your 45 is just huge. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's not easy to go march down 80 yards without any mistakes or any negative plays. You know, and the defense has a lot of opportunities to make big plays. So putting yourself in this position really makes it great for the Green Wave. Sam Malafronte comes out over the ball. Teammates in green, home uniforms, left and right. Donovan in motion. They pitched to Donovan trying to get around He's the right some side. Room. He's got the corner. Donovan turns over to 50. Donovan's still on his feet and steps out of bounds after picking about seven or eight. Yeah. On a first down, that makes it great. It's a, you know going to be second and about two here for the Green Wave. Nice blocking out front. Student body, <clears throat> right? Everybody pulling out there to lead Donovan out. 
Nice eight yard pickup for the Green Wave. It is a nice way to start the, the uh, drive there, get the second and short here. You see um, number 52, Ryan Paris, turning the corner there, trying to do some lead blocking for Donovan in that last play. And actually, Donnell was out there as well, number 34 for the Green Wave. Donnell now deep man in the eye. Behind Dwyer, they give, nope, Dwyer, broken play. Dwyer's going to have to take it up the middle. He's going to be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, I think everybody was going right, and Dwyer kind of went, um, went the other way. So loss of Buddy Yard. Third and three now for Abington. Ball at the 48-yard line. Yeah. That's a tough play. You want to make sure, you know, hopefully they can convert this and overcome that here. I think the Green Wave goes for it here anyways. Your defense has been playing great. Yeah. You know, even if you don't get it on this third down, if it's close, the Green Wave is definitely going to go for it on fourth. I think you have to ask the linemen. They're certainly going to agree with you. So here we come up. To see Ridd in the tight end on the far side. They give I back to the left side. Dunham Dunham, he's got the barrels first. it forward. Yep, gets it over the 45. That's definitely a first down for the Green Wave. Just coming under four minutes remaining in the, in the first half. <coughs> What's an interesting about these two towns and these two teams is how similar they are. Population-wise, they're both within like 300 people, you know, population-wise. Both um, coaches, Jim Forty. Kelleher has coached for 41 years. Both from the mid-70s. That's right. Uh, Coach La, La Chapelle has coached for 39 years. Um, almost, almost what, 570 wins between the two oh, of them? It's, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. You know, both sides of the mid-70s. So it's just an amazing, uh, you know, Right. It is amazing to take both, you know, both. Return to their own high school to coach. Both programs are uh, very similar in nature. Both head coaches are very similar in nature. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. Carly out wide to the <laughs> far side. One man in the backfield behind Dwyer. It looks like that is Lions. They put uh, Donovan in motion. They fake Donovan. Play. Here comes Glavin. Glavin gets it inside the 39-yard line. Pick up about five or six on the play. I love the counter play, especially using, you know, Donovan as the decoy. Right. There. Defense is going to start to shift with him, figuring he's going to get that pitch because you had, you know, good success with that on the last time with that eight-yard pickup. And then you come back with Glavin, you know, who's been a, a little bit of a bull is, uh, all this year as well for the Green Wave. Donovan mm -hmm. with 15 touchdowns on the year with that, mm -hmm. when you add in that one in the first quarter, leading the team. They spread it out. They have a... How many guys we got? How many guys have scored? We have 50 touchdowns on the year right wow. now versus, I think it was not 20, just over 20 for our opponents. I backfield once again, Donovan in the eye, and they put a man in motion now. He's clabbing. They show blitz. Donovan skips around the blitz and then gets stood up. Really about, pick up about one. Yard. Yep. Well. Well, the good news for the Green Wave, too, Sean, if, even if they don't score here, they're taking a lot of time off the clock. They're not going to give any time to the clock if, new, if uh, Northbridge, you know, Northbridge doesn't, uh, you know, gets the ball back here. So if the Green Wave gets the ball back in the second half. Right, with the opening kickoff. But right? they've got plenty of time here. They've got, you know, 220 remaining. It's third down, third and about four here. So That's right. Let's get this first down. It. Let's get this first down. Keep these chains moving. Let's punch it in before we go in the locker room. Here come the Green Wave up to the line of scrimmage. I backfield, Dunham in the deep man, and Carly out wide near side. Clavin, right side wing. They pitch right side. Donovan kicks it outside. Oh, what a move. Donovan what a turns move. the corner. Donovan still on his feet. Gets the first down. Move those stakes. First down, gets out of bounds. Exactly what you want to do as you're getting down under two minutes here. You know, Sean, that's a perfect run by Donovan. He had a move there. I don't know how. Yeah. I mean, he just, uh, the guy's still standing there. It was just a. <laughs> So they move it down now to the 32-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Green Wave as we continue to move north here in Gillette Stadium with two minutes left exactly on the scoreboard clock in the first half. 8-0, Green Wave lead after the 20-yard uh, touchdown by Donovan in the first quarter. Having to near break in the huddle. You know, and a lot of times, too, Sean, as you get into this situation, it's more important to get out of bounds and try to get that extra two yards. You want to keep the clocks, you know, stop the clock. You want to save those timeouts because you might need them. Dwyer looking to throw. Get the slant pad to Cauley. Cauley's got it inside the 20, down to about the 17-yard line. Aiden Cauley gets the first down. A nice play, a little bit of a fake, like it was going to be a draw, uh, just a, you know, a, a dive play. I mean, Cauley comes in off of that, slant, does the nice slant, picks up, what, 12 yards there. you got to wonder when... Brian Dwyer turns around and talks to the the, the eye back and is kind of, you know, again, talking to him. He's making, trying to make the linebackers think this ball's coming to them. Mm -hmm. They're going to hand it off to you. And instead, he throws it to the, the wide out on the slant. First and 10 now at the 18-yard line. Eye backfield, Dunham up the middle. Dunham breaks free. Dunham in the tackle. Touchdown! Man, Muskegon! Sean Dunham from 18 yards out. Put the green wave on the board again. Big hole. 
roll. I'll tell you, he had another gear there, Sean. He just blasted up. When he got into about the 10 yard line, it was just like faster than any I've ever seen him run before. Unbelievable. Sean Donovan, the junior running back. A 55 yard drive for the green wave here with 1.30 on the clock. I'll say it now, Sean. If I ever need an organ transplant, I want that kid carrying the cola. <laughs> I'll second that emotion. Let's see what the Green Wave do here for the point after conversion. Great, that's what we wanted, Kevin. A systematic drive downfield, take some time off the clock, get some points on the board. These two points are important. Malafronte lines up in the backfield behind Dwyer, the senior quarterback. Put a man in motion, and they're gonna have flags thrown. They say it's procedure, I didn't see what happened there, but they did. So they're gonna bring the kicking team out, it looks like. I don't know if it's because, I don't know if how, I don't know why it was, he was moving backwards. Yeah, right, you, just, you can't have forward motion at the time of the snap, and you can't have two men in motion, unless that's what they saw. I didn't see the second man moving. And we are gonna line up for the kick. Could have been down on the down lineman as well, so. This is Cummings, number 85. Yeah, so. Gets it up and is good. It's good. It is. Cummins is good. So a 20 yard touchdown by Donovan, then an 18 yard touchdown by Donovan. And a, the PAT kick there by Cummins after the PAT rush by Lions makes the score 15 to nothing, Green Wave. You know, you're not going to keep. You know, you're not going to keep a kid like Donovan down. They've been able to keep him, you know, at, you know, for a couple of just, you know, no gains or even a loss here or there. But you keep feeding him the ball, he's going to break them. And, you know, he's had two great runs tonight. Right now, Kevin, you mentioned the pregame. You know, a lot of the high schools are doing what they're seeing in colleges, and they're going that, that spread offense with the, a lot of throwing, a lot of aerial attack. And when you get into inclement weather conditions like this, right, it so can hurt you. Whereas a team like Abington, we've seen this all season, they have multiple weapons. They can get you on the ground. They can get you in the air. They can, they're going to do whatever it is to get you. Right. And the Green Wave are doing that right now in the first half very well offensively yeah. and defensively. Well, the other thing too, Sean, is, you know, it's much more of a finesse offense than it is like a, you know, really hit you and control the line of scrimmage. It's, you know, it's, it's timing routes. It's getting the ball out quick. You know, in a Green Wave team that's very physical or when you come up against a team like very, that's very physical, you know, it's much more difficult to play against a team like that when you're playing a finesse uh, style of football. Look at Cherisani to kick off once again after he just talked to some of his teammates. I'm not sure what he's minute 30 remaining. About. I know they've taken one timeout. There's only two timeouts. Three time, th three, yeah, three timeouts three total, times, right? right. They, so I think they have two timeouts remaining. Cherisani just kicks it downfield. Going to continue to roll, and Schofer picks it up at the 21-yard line. Schofer with nowhere to go, and then gets taken out at about the 28-yard line. And you had. Uh, Josh Martin down there, and you had Landers down there, Dave Lyons, and of course number 20 was Kearns. They call it the 27-yard line. It'll be first and 10 with 125 to go. It's just amazing how consistent the uh, their starting field position has been tonight. It is. Yeah. It's all been within three, three yards. Three or four yards. Let's see if the Green Wave D can hold them up here. Of course, North Northridge again with the aerial attack used to having they're used to having quick scoring strikes. So see if they try to go deep here. Now they're looking at two men in the backfield. I've, trying to maybe get some extra block and backs to give Schofer some time to throw deep, so we'll see. Single coverage. That's exactly what they're doing. They're keeping guys in. They're throwing it out, out patting and not even close. Yeah, I Most mean that's, complete. you know, here's the thing, Sean, right? That's respect right there. Well, the other, that is, absolutely. Well, that's what they have to do. I mean, you got a minute 30 to go here and you got to do that to be able to have your quarterback, you know, your athlete, you know, get get it done. But even that play, you look at that throw. He's throwing that ball from about the 15 yeah. yard line. He's got to throw that 25 yard. That's actually like a, about a 35, 40 yard pass. And that's not easy. With on a not night a good like grip. Right. But it's not easy on a night like tonight. But you know, those down and out routes. And that's why the green wave is taking the slant away. You know, by taking that slant away, you're making them throw a much more difficult pass to the outside of the hash marks. And by putting the two running backs there, you're saying that we're respecting the offensive, the yeah, defensive onslaught from the green wave right now. Here we go, one wide out to each side. Show for the throw. Looking for Brooks, they go with the chair pattern. Trying to get behind him, and then Landers takes him out. Good job, and it's gonna be incomplete. Yeah. Landers was very fortunate, you know, that he just got there right at the time at the ball, but he's very fortunate that uh, he's hurt. Yeah, Landers went up and came down funny there. He's hurt on the far sideline, unfortunately, but what a play he just made. Coming back and knocking that ball away and taking Chandler's oh, out. Oh, nice job. job. Knocked what it out of the air. beautiful job. Just looking at the replay. You know, got his far, his far arm back to knock it away as the ball came in. Perfect, uh, you know, 
Just perfect uh, timing there by Landers. I think he just kind of fell awkwardly. He's just walking over the bench now, and he'll have some time at halftime to get himself ready. So third and long now, third and ten. Schofer rolling now, near side. Stop, pass, nice job, a little down. I'll get the first down. First down. Yep. Get the first down. Minute five remaining. Frazier with a little stop route, just stop to turn a little button hook, I guess you call it. That's only the second down, I believe, that the second first down that they've gotten this evening. That's minute, not great English, but. <laughs> minute five to go here in the half. Ball marked at the 38 yard line. <clears throat> well, you figure when they did the down and out, they were going to go with the chair pattern next, which is what they did the yeah. previous play. Well, the big thing is you don't want guys to get behind you. Keep everything in front of you. You know, they only have a minute to go. Show for the throw. He's got uh, out patterns each side. Uh, oh, Coley. and Crawley went for it, but now Brooks has it, tries to cut back inside, and gets tripped up at the 41 yard line by Brian Dwyer. Crawley went for the interception. Uh, I think he went for the tip, Sean. It was a little bit high, misread it a little bit, but you know, you can't, in that, when you're on an island like that, it's pretty difficult. You don't want to do that in this situation. I think you want to play it safe because, you know, if you want to play it safe, go for the body there, making sure that he doesn't get uh, behind you because he could have been off to the races and well, put, gonna, put a score on the board. I was going to say, Collie, I think, was looking to put a dagger in there right there. If he could have got, grabbed that gun the other way, he hits a to pitch. draw going back to Jake Nothing. Wood, and he stopped Emery and Cellini on the tackle. Great wave doing a great job there. See, they really don't have a running offense no. here at all. Yeah. Emery's really had a good evening tonight, Sean. Sure has. You know, Northbridge's timeout. So that's their second timeout. They're down to one timeout here. I remind you, Abbott and Greenway basketball is that actually basketball practice has already started. Basketball, hockey, yeah. winter sports are the majority hours. of the basketball team is out there in the football team right on the football field right now. Pete Serino's the head coach this year, along with James Smith and the boys' team. And Steve Moore will be coaching the girls' team once again. Uh, if you want to follow Abington High School Sports, if you're on Twitter, at Abington AD. At Abington AD on Twitter is uh, Pete Serino, our athletic director, does a great job keeping um, Green Wave Nation informed. Any game changes or time changes, what's going on. He's tweeting right now during the game here. I want to thank WATD Radio, covering a lot of the games for Green Absolutely. Wave here ATD tonight. does a good job. Bob Mahoney down there on the uh, sidelines, uh, help, helping out with ATD. And, of course, again, Norm Casely. want to thank Norm for everything you've done. Uh, this is his last game helping us out here for Abden Cable and fitting that it's at Gillette Stadium. So mm -hmm. thank you, Norm. You're the guy that does all the editing to make us all look good. Absolutely. You know, and, and, you know, so many kids, I mean, they all appreciate, you know, the efforts that both Bill and Norm do put in. You know, it's very much appreciated by even, you know, the kids but the parents as well. So we thank them for the service to the town. So all it's right. going to be second – Second and about nine here for Northbridge. 37 seconds left in the, on the clock here in the first half. 15 to nothing, Green Wave lead. Shotgun for Kobe Schofer, the junior quarterback. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw a big rush by Sarasani. Sarasani got his number, and he throws it away incomplete. Sarasani was just had that well, dialed up number 12 and was on him. Schofer is not going to be able to throw the ball. If you know you, if he's going to be out on an all-out sprint like that, that's right. You know, Sarasani was right on top of him, and you know he was—he really just threw that to get rid of it, to get it back to the line of scrimmage. You know, and he plus they have everybody going deep, and you know the couple guys came back, but it was much too late. So third and nine. Third and nine here for the with Northridge. Thirty-one seconds. Shotgun again for Schofitz. Three wideouts to the near side. One on the far side. Schofitz a throw. Big rush. They go in the slant to, to Brooks. Gets hit. Taken down by Cawley. They stop the clock with 24 seconds to go. So I don't know if they're going to try to. They're going to try to down it here to stop the try clock. try to down it. Watch a trick play. Brooks lines up wide to the far side. He's the man they like to go to. And he, they did a trick play. They fake it. They're going to go to Brooks going in the corner, and he's yeah, incomplete. We'll stop the clock yeah. at 18 seconds. So it'll be I second called that down. one, Sean. You, you did. No. Not as dumb as you look, Kev. I know it. Fake that little, you know, fake that downing of the ball. You go for it, 18 seconds. Now they have one timeout remaining still. So Green Wave trying to hold here. Keep that 15 nothing lead going into the half. And they'll be, as we mentioned, will be receiving the opening kickoff to start the second half. Here at Gillette Stadium for the Division Five State Championship, the Abbott and Green Wave. Number of times when the uh, state championship was played here, our division was assigned outside of Gillette, and now for the first time, we're inside Gillette. Again, the shotgun for Kobe Schofer. 
Three men down in the backfield. Got a man in motion. They're flooding the left side. Watch show for break right here. He rolls right. Sarasani so coming from behind. Pursue. They look back across the field, and it's going to be. Oh, he's right in, there. Incomplete. They're going to be. Yeah, it'll be pass that's interference. But well, that's all right. With nine seconds left to go. Yeah. It definitely. He read it so well, and he just, you know, he took the body. He, he just read it. Got there a second too soon. Well, I think Colby floated it so much that it threw right. off Carly's timing. Right. Well, I mean, he's throwing. He came on this side, Sean, and he's throwing it all the way across his body back to the other side of the field. We've seen him do that on the point after. So it'll be defensive pass interference call. So that's a spot foul because it's right where it happened, correct? It's not a 10-yard. Or is it? It's a spot foul. So it's going to be first down, first and 10. Timeout being called. It'll be automatic first down with... Eight seconds to go here. We're just listening to the referee explain what's going on out there. So eight seconds. So really they may have one or two plays depending on right. what happens. They don't have any timeouts remaining. They just used their third timeout. That's what they said, correct? They right. used their third timeout. So that means if they catch anything inside and the green wave stops them, then pretty much it's over. You know? Well, that's just yeah. the first down. They could stop the clock to, right. to change, change the stakes. It. Right. So the green wave... You got to be careful. You got to think they're going to go to a, a sideline pass to try to stop the clock, but they might then be hoping that they'll get a tight end or someone float across the middle. It might be wide open. We'll see. Well, it's really interesting, Sean, as you mentioned, though. Like they totally changed their offense to, you know, to basically adjust to the blitzing and the pressure of the Green Wave. You know, just rather than having four guys wide out and just, you know, having, you know, the spread offense, they, you know, they brought those other two guys in to for protection. For protection. So. You know, the green wave is obviously that's, you know, just a, a credit, as you said, to the linebackers and down linemen and the pressure that they've been putting on the quarterback. All right, they put another second back on the clock. So nine seconds on the clock. Ball's on the 21-yard line, first and 10. The clock is really good to what they got to worry about here. Josh Reardon, the free safety in the middle of the field. Shotgun for Kobe Schaefer. Uh, Kobe Schaefer. Schaefer looking to throw. Going in the corner, looking for number 10. Oh, it's oh. going to be incomplete. If anything, it was going to be off offensive pass interference, but falls incomplete with four seconds on the clock. They just tried a little timing play, but I, I don't know if, if Schofer really can't get a good hand on the ball, but he's throwing up a couple of ducks here. Right now. Yeah, that ball was really floating. Donovan had a better shot at that. Nice defensive play. Well, the offensive player ended up being the you know defensive player there. That was Frazier. Frazier and knocking it away. So this will be the final play of the first half. The Green Wave up 15 to nothing. Ball on the 21-yard line. First and 10, but really first and 21 here. And they break their huddle. Two wide outs to each side. Schofer in the backfield with Jake Wood is running back to his left. Green wave, of nobody in the middle in the secondary. Big blitz coming up the middle. They're putting pressure on Schofer. Crossing pattern and it's incomplete. incomplete. Big defensive play by Sean Donovan. And that'll be the end of the half as right. Donovan just swatted it out of the air. The intended receiver was number 16, Stephen Hamilton. I thought he was going to come down with it, but Donovan was able to get the hand in there and knock it loose. So the Green Wave did everything that you could ask for them, Sean. Going ahead 15-0 here in the first half. Tremendous job by the Green Wave offensively and defensively. Uh, they'll go in for a very, very brief halftime and then will come out to receive the opening kick. Just watching the replay on television and Donovan did a great job. Really, it was almost dropped by Hamilton more so, but Dunneman shook him up as the ball came in to contact with the intended receiver. So we'll take a break and be back at Gillette Stadium for the second half of the 2014 Division Five State Championship in just the blink of an eye. All right, we're back for second half action here. The Mighty Mighty Green Wave up 15 to nothing here in the 2014 State Championship. Kind of the Super Bowl. They really call it the state championship now because it is true, the it's state championship from prior years, uh, more than two years ago. It was just Eastern. Right, we had an Central Eastern and Mass and Championship, and, and we West. had a Central and Western Mass Champion. Starting last year, we now have a state championship with it's that one extra game. So this is the Eastern Mass Champion in green versus the Central West Championship in white and maroon. And here we go to start the second half. Squib kick. Grabbed at the 31-yard line. Kernsey on his feet. Get a good 10-yard return. 
You know what I liked about that, Tishan? Just ran straight ahead, north and south. Didn't try to go sideways at all. Just bring it up and get what you could get. Just nice field position for the green wave. Starting out at the 41-yard line. You know, I, one of the things I think you saw in the first half, Sean, really, the green wave, you know, the, I thought Northbridge actually did a very good job of stopping, stuffing green wave in between the tackles. Once you get outside the tackles, I think the green wave had a lot of success. So I think you're going to see a lot more, you know, pitching. And then you come back with the counter plays and things of that nature when, the, you know, they think they're going to go outside to lean them back and you get the counter play. First and 10 at the 41-yard line for Abington here to start the second half. Main in motion is Martin. They show blitz up the middle. They give left side to Donovan. Punches it outside. Cuts it back inside. Donovan over the 50. He's gone. Back. They go Sean Donovan. They didn't catch Belgium. They didn't catch Ben Laden. And they're not catching Donovan. Touchdown. Madden Muskegon. One play. 59 yards. Six more points. And the green wave up. 21-0. Kapang. Woo. The Sean Donovan. Wave. The junior phenom. That's a dagger at the Ram defense there. And Donovan did a great job reading the blocks. And then watch this cutback, a beautiful cutback right there, a little stiff arm on Schofer, and gone. Gone for the six. In the first half, he had 11 carries for 80 yards, and he just added 59 yards for the TD. Cummings in for the kick. It's up it's and good. good. And remember, these uprights are a little bit narrower than high school uprights, but he gets it right through. One play, 59-yard drive for the Green Wave, and that's a great way to start the second half if you're in wow. the state championship. Absolutely, and prior to this uh, game, Sean, you saw, um, I think, three balls go off the um, uprights today. So, right. so Cummings doing a nice job of his getting his two points tonight. So if New England didn't know who Sean Dunneman was, they do now if they're all watching this Comcast uh, presentation, that they're, they're all they're all covering this game live. You know, Sean, we've seen it so many times. He just has that other gear, and so many times you see, you know, guys think they have him, and they break down, and then he's just gone. And you can see that a little bit right there. You know, as he cut it back in up against the grain, he's able to, like, not lose any speed as he cuts up. And, it's you know, once again, great blocking by the Green Wave defense on the offensive his line. view of the field, and how he can see the angles coming at him and, you know, how he uses blockers in their angles. 59-yard touchdown run to add to his 80 in the first half. And half of those were touchdown runs of 20 and 19. Saratani to kick. Line drive kick bounces at 20, skips down to the 13-yard line. Brooks with it. Now tries to turn direction and take it down by Landers, I believe that was. Landers has just been a phenomenal uh, special teams guy all year long. James Landers, number 10. Getting down there. Good to see Landers back there on the field. They knew he'd be back. He's a tough kid. Cummins with two PAT kicks. So the Green Wave had 119 yards of total offense in the first half against uh, Northbridge's 69, and a lot of that was on their last drive, which was about, what, 53 yards or so of that last drive? Yeah, 53-yard drive, and they have 53 yards passing only. Shotgun formation for Kobe Schofer. They hand off. Oh, Not he's hit, taken down in the oh, backfield by Luca. Luca. A loss on the play. Green Wave have come to play. I'll tell you, seeing number 56 on this team, it kind of reminds you of big Andre Tippett, Sean. <laughs> Former Hall of Famer for the Patriots. He is just all over the field. Andre Tippett was at the breakfast of this prior Tuesday when they invited all the team captains and coaches. And Andre, Andre Tippett and Pete Brock were there with some uh, words of encouragement for the Green Wave and the other teams. Again, wideouts to each side for Kobe Schofer. One man in the backfield is Jake Wood. Looking to throw once again. They're showing a screen. screen coming across the middle. Brooks looking for somewhere to go. And Donovan really coming up and making right. a tackle for another loss. Yeah, maybe a pickup of one if that. Yeah, I think that's... He just ran about 60 yards yes. across the field. Well, Greenway did a good job of kind of pushing it, you know, to the right and then stretching it out and then Donovan coming up. Well, the original line of scrimmage was the 24-yard line when this drive started. They're back at the 22 right now with third down and 12. Green Wave D looking to hold him and put him in a punt position deep here in Ram territory. Again, two men in the backfield to protect Kobe. One wide out to each side now, looking for the quick down and out of the slant. They're going to go with this quick down and out. It's going to be incomplete. Oh, and Luca just Luca. came in and delivered a blow just as he was releasing it. I'll tell you, the chauffeur has been... Hit and hit often tonight. 
You know, and again, once again, the Green Wave coach is doing a great job, Sean, of taking away what you like to do best here tonight. You know, we were talking about how, you know, they really like to do those slants and kind of right across the middle, and it just made it look so easy against other teams. The Green Wave has totally taken that away from them tonight, forcing them to try to make that much tougher throw to the outside. Brooks is going to stand at his own eight-yard line to kick. Green Wave have two men back to receive at midfield. Of course, it'd be Qualley and Donovan. Brooks waiting for the snap. Good snap. Kick is away. A knuckleball coming right at Cauley at the 48. Fakes it. Cauley got, got a wall. He's got a wall. He's got a wall. He's gone. He goes could in. be. Cauley could be. One man. He's got a touchdown. Man of Muskegon. Uh, Aiden Cauley. <laughs> a 52 yard punt return by Aiden Cauley. And what a perfectly designed wall of blockers on the far side of the field. You can see it set up. Well, all year long, the Green Wave has been doing what? Handing off to Sean Donovan. So everyone's expecting Sean Donovan to keep that, you know, to either get that ball or keep it. And Mayor Aiden Colley just fakes the handoff. You can see everybody went with went with Donovan. Look at the wall on the, the wall. replay. Textbook play. You've got Lucas BOD Arasani. up there. You've got Emery up there. And then way down there is Lucas Arasani blocking number 80. Cummins to kick the point after. Wow. Holy Toledo. Puts it up, and it is good. Cummins through the uprights with a hold by Reardon. 29-0 uh, here. Wow, what a turn of events. In two minutes and nine seconds, the Green Wave put 14 points on the board. And we've played one play from scrimmage. 7.51 on the clock. In the well, third you know, Sean, I'm not used to these Super Bowls being blowouts. Usually they've been like very high pressure events, so, you know, we. Got plenty of time though on the clock here, so Northridge does have plenty of time to come back into this ball game. Got to keep your composure and you know something that I'm not usually good at. And <laughs> Woo! I know absolutely. What great! Uh, I'm Sean Riley. This is Kevin Whalen. Want to say a little thank you also to this man right there. This is Colton McGrath. He's the official statistician of Green Wave football. Does a great job, and he's up here in the booth with us. We're talking about you know again special teams, Sean. We're talking about special teams earlier in the game and what how well the Green Wave has been playing on them. You know, they have that, uh, you know, almost block there, which made it a very short punt and good short uh, fail position. And then they come back and they score off the uh, special teams as well. So Green Wave really getting it done with the special teams. And Aiden Colley has just been, you know, so phenomenal at that all year long. High under run kick at the 15-yard line. Chauffeur trying to get up through the middle. Ball. Balls on the ground. I think they I kept think it. they got it. They do. They signal that it is Northbridge ball. Yeah, about the 32-yard line. Maybe the 33. Where the Ram offense will try to come out and do something against this incredible Abbott and Green Wave defense right now, really firing all cylinders. And, uh, you know, it's almost like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, too, Sean. They really are. I mean, they're just wearing these guys down. Billy, just want to make sure. I can't hear Kevin and mine, but as long as you can hear everybody, you're good. And there we go. All right, now we can hear each other. First and 10. I think he did that on purpose, Sean. <laughs> First and 10 at the 33-yard line. Two wideouts to each side for Kobe Show for the junior quarterback. Looking to throw. Pressure from behind. They go. Oh, it's 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 Let's go. Go. Oh. Brian O'Donovan <laughs> picks off the pass on the 23-yard line and brings it all the way down to the three-yard line. B-O-D. Woo-hoo. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable first play. BOD! <laughs> the crowd chanting BOD. <laughs> you gotta love it. Wow. Ball marked at a three yard line. Let's put him in the backfield and hand it off to him. Holy cow. Big number 72, lugging it downfield. And of course, the pressure was there by Luke. It was a screen pass set up, and BOD really ran it just perfectly. You know what, kudos to the Green Wave coaching staff because they have been, they had plays set up to, to defend against the screen where they would send three men in and have three men back of the line of scrimmage to pick off the pass. And in that place, it was BOD and he was there. Good job. So first and goal at the three yard line, three men in the backfield behind Brian Dwyer. Calling out wide near side. Now they bring Dunham up at the right side wing. Dwyer under his center, gives left side, Dion. Leon, I'm sorry, oh, Donnell Leon shy. stopped at the about the two-yard line, maybe the one. I think he gets right down to the one. Yeah. Wow. 
Ooh, baby. I would have loved to see him get the six, Sean. Oh, can you believe that? The depot is going to be rocking. I know his parents. It was great here in the whole stands over there across the that stadiums was... yelling, B-O-D, B-O-D, B-O-D. They love him. So you get... Had it not been for the, the tackle by Jake Wood, B.O.D. would have had six points. So now the ball on the one-yard line, second and goal. They break the huddle. B.O.D. left side tackle. Three men in the backfield. Dwyer gives oh, Malafronte the ball. Oh, no, I think he or just he stumbled. Slipped. I think yeah. he just stumbled. It'll be third and goal at about the half-yard line. You know, Sean, I, you really got to give credit to the team, though, as well. You know, at the beginning of the year, they had a lot of close games. It didn't look like they were really playing that well. Weren't healthy. A lot of guys were dinged up and hurt, you know, from DeWire to Donovan to Leon to, you know, Josh Martin. And they just kind of kept on working at it, working on it. Everybody eventually got healthy and came back. And, you know, you really got to give credit to them and the coaching staff just to really just keep at it and getting better every week. Here they come. Green Wave offense on the line. At the goal line, third and goal from half yard out. Malafronte in the backfield behind Dwyer. They put a man in motion. Dwyer keeps He's it. He's touchdown! Man of Muskegon! The senior quarterback, Brian Dwyer, for one yard out. Puts another six on the board for the green wave. Wow. And there is a just unbelievable demonstration of prowess on the football field out there by the Abingdon Green Wave. Absolutely. you got to just, you know. This Northbridge team is undefeated. Until now, and listen, how about the Green Wave? They stopped an undefeated East Bridgewater team. They stopped an undefeated Bishop Fenwick team. And so far, it looks like they're going to stop an undefeated Northbridge team. Cummings to kick once again. Easy, makes it easy and puts it through. Cummings making a name for himself. Absolutely, 25 and 1. So it makes it 36 to nothing here in the third quarter with 5.58 to go. Well, sure you don't want to, like, you know, speak too early here. But these, you know, these seniors have a phenomenal record of 35 and 3 if they win tonight, which is just unbelievable. In the last three years. In the last three years, 35 and 3. That's just an unbelievable record. So these guys, you know, have uh, so much to be proud of. These 13 seniors that uh, have, you know, been, been through the program all those years. You just got to give them all credit. They've just done a great job. And, you know, 35 and 3 is probably the best combined record of any senior class. And I want to thank you guys for making our job easy. When you guys are winning games like this, it gets us excited. Absolutely. We're living vicariously through you. Uh, I know your parents are proud. Your classmates are proud of you. It doesn't it, take much to get us excited. No, but it doesn't. You know. you know, it doesn't. But, you know, that's why they pay us that extra cheeseburger every game. Luca Cherasani going to kick once again with a 36 to nothing lead here in the third quarter of the state championship game. This is the last game at Gillette tonight. Nice high end over and kick coming down right at the 15 yard line. Chandler Brooks with it now trying to change direction and gets stood up. Ray Emery's in on the tackle there. Emery having a great game. Redden coming in there, number nine. Who else is there? Of course, Land is number 10, who's always in on He's every ta tackle on the special teams. So Northridge, again, in that same general area, starting at the 28-yard line. Well, you know, the Green Wave has won as many Super Bowls as the Patriots, Sean. So if they win this, that means the, the Patriots have to win one this year, too. Well, the Green Wave, this half, first play, 59-yard touchdown, 53-yard punt return, and then an interception by BOD, ran it back about 20 yards. Eye backfield now with Schofer under the center. They give to the eye back, up the middle, nothing going there. Pick up maybe a one or two on the play. Chevrolet number 44 and on the tackle there for the Green Wave. Along with Sam Melafronte. Sam has just been unbelievable up the middle for the Green Wave. He is. He's been the cog of that defense. This is now Sam, you remember, blew his knee out the first play from scrimmage uh, uh, last year. Actually, it was on the kickoff against Duxbury. The only loss that they had. And uh, Sam had to sit out all of last year. This year, he has been that central cog of this defense. He's the middle linebacker, and he's the man right now who's basically assigned to chauffeur. You know, if he's going to run, Sam's going to him, get to him first or make him go another way. Eye backfield once again, chauffeur under the center. Interesting. They give second man through left side, trying to pump it out, but really no, maybe one on the play. Handoff was Michael Quinn, number 28. Wow. 
So it brings up a third and about six here for the uh, Rams. Kudos to all the Abington Green Wave Nation. You can see, if you look across the field, a lot more Abington fans than Northbridge fans. Some of the fans are sitting down in the bleachers in the rain. Some, Some of them are tucked underneath in the far left-hand corner and straight across from us. But Green Wave Nation is here and happy. Absolutely. You know, and it, it is a credit. I mean, we always, you know, talk about how well, you know, you go to every game, and a lot of times when fans come to Abington, there's very few fans there. But all the time when we go away, Green Wave Nation does travel very well. well why wouldn't you? Third and six now. I backfield again behind Kobe Schofer looking to throw. Schofer now trying to tuck it under. Emery makes him think twice. And oh, and Larry down comes by Larry. up. Good job by the defense from Abington. A loss on the play. Emery and Leary tag team on him. Well, you know, this is the second year in a row. And, you know, you don't want to talk too early here, but just coming out of four minutes in this uh, third quarter here. But they haven't, they didn't score last year in the Super Bowl either. Um, Northbridge did not. So, again, both drives here in the third quarter have resulted in, in a net negative two yards for each of those drives. So they'll go to punt. Fourth and 12. Line of scrimmage right now is the 26-yard line. Chandler Brooks to kick. Cauley and Donovan pick your poison back deep. Going to be a kick heading Cauley's way. It's going to bounce, and Cauley's just going to let it roll smartly. Down to the 35-yard line will be downed. Oh. Well, you know, you go over the seniors that the Green Wave have this year. You know, you've got Brian DeWire, Aiden Cauley, James Landers, number 10, Josh Ridden, John Kearns, you know, Ray Emery, Chevalier, number 44, Sam Malafronte, number 50, Cole Jansen, number 55, Luca Sarasani, number 56, George Cellini, number 71, Brian O'Donovan, number 72, Chris Chevalier, number 78, and Dennis Cummins. And Rob, Rob Toomey, Rob Toomey. Number 77. I'm, I'm sorry, Chris Chevalier was a, uh, I'm sorry, a couple of those were. Yep, number 70, Rob Toomey. So hopefully he'll get in for tonight. He's been banged up a little bit this right, year. Right, he got cleared to play. Martin in the slot on the right side now. In motion goes Donovan. Looking to throw. A little bubble screen. Out That's to Colley. Oh, it's a double pass. Colley looking to throw to Dunham. He's behind him. And it's going to be picked off by the Rams at about the 40-yard line. Again, is, you were seeing everybody having a hard time trying to throw the ball long. Yeah. So having a little razzle-dazzle. It was definitely a lateral. <clears throat> So the Northbridge Ram offense will come out with the ball at their 40, some of their best field position to start from in a long time here, if not the game. 3.09 left to go here in the third quarter. Well, you know, Sean, the safe bet would have been just to run the ball and take some time off the clock, but as we know, Abington so coaches stuff does not coach safe. They co always coach aggressively. <clears throat> here we go, the wideouts to each side, slot left, slot right, shotgun formation for Kobe Schofer. These guys are a very young Northbridge team. And it's going to be incomplete. incomplete. Boy, Sarasani is just pushing back the defensive line, mm. the offensive line. Aiden Colley was all over uh, 28 out there. Quinn, number 28 for them, uh, who was the re intended receiver. Sean Dunham with Great three coverage. touchdowns tonight. And Brian O'Donovan almost had a touchdown tonight. Oh. Dwyer with a touchdown. Uh, second and ten now for the Rams. We come down to the three-minute mark, a 3.02 on the clock. Rain continues to fall throughout this game, but it hasn't slowed down Abington's offense or their defense. I say there's only three seniors that really play uh, start for the Rams, so it's a very young Northbridge team, so they'll really likely be back again. And, oh, incomplete. Cawley with some pretty good coverage as they were going for Quinn down the middle. That was a pretty well-thrown ball, especially in the conditions here, but it brings up now third and long. Now that's uh, something they've been used to, Sean. Third and long has been something that you've heard all day long here for the Rams, the green wave defense. You just can't say enough about them. You know? Well, the, the good thing they're doing is they're checking them up at the line. You know, they, right. as you mentioned, they're taking off that timing that they've been so used to. The green wave secondary is not playing back and letting the receivers run their route. They're hitting them and slowing them up. Well, you know, the worst thing a defense can do, especially I think in high school or even, you know, any level is you just let somebody, you know, run their route from and you stay back 10 yards. It's like, you know, you just let them throw underneath all day long and you know, the green wave has just not allowed them to do that. Looking to throw. It. Martin with big pressure. Puts the ball up. He's way out of bounds. He's in. He's nope, out, of out of bounds. Yep. Out, out of bounds. bounds. So fourth Thank down. Yeah, they can't catch a break. Three and out. Let's see if they go for it here. 
I think you got to go for it. You know, 248. you're 248. You've only got you know 12 minutes left in this ball game. Just under you know 13 minutes left in this ball game. Then again. Well, they might, the best they can do is try to pin Abingdon back because they don't want to give Abingdon great field no. position here, how deadly they've been. If you punt it, then you're just telling them, you know, Abington just to just run the ball, run the clock out. Well, they're going to punt, or at least they'll line up for the punt. Chandler Brooks back once again. I mentioned that there are a lot of juniors and sophomores playing for the Northbridge that are coming back next year. The same is true for Abington. We lose 13 it's great a nice seniors. high punt right to Dunneman. Dunneman at the 27th. He keeps it. He's got a wall. Donovan going down the far sideline, cuts oh. it back up, trips up at the at the 40-yard line. So good return by Donovan. And the Green Wave will come out, get the ball, as you said, at the 45. First down for the Green Wave. 2.38 left on the clock here in the third. Right at the 40-yard line. Well, I suspect, Sean, that you're going to see it with this amount of time left that you're going to see the Green Wave just keep it on the ground. I think, you know, you're trying to work in a lot of your seniors to have, you know, a memorable play. And, and you know, to do that, you saw them give uh, Sam Malafronte the ball, who's had right. a couple touchdowns this year, you know, running. Mm -hmm. They had to put him in the backfield there when we had some injuries early on or midway through the season there. Greenway break the huddle, come up the line of scrimmage, the 40-yard line. First and 10 for Abington, heading south to north now with the uh, tight offense, the war offense. Double wing, they pitch to Martin, right side. Martin with a hole. Martin, cross midfield, oh. gets tripped up as he gets the first down into Ram territory. Great blocking right up really? front there. Everyone pulling into the hole. And Martin was able to just follow it and pick up a good first down there. I like that double wing. It's just something that you see uh, Holliston Panthers use that very effectively, and they did that earlier in the game, earlier today in their Super Bowl. Yeah. BOD just went downfield. Whenever he's leading somebody, he just popped Schofer uh, to pop wide and make that hole a little bit wider. First and 10 at the 49. Again, a double wing. Tight formation. They give to Martin same, same again. Play. Martin. Off gets, tackle. Gets about four or five, maybe five on the play. Brings it up to the 44-yard line. He's just a sophomore. Dunham's just a junior. Leon's just a junior. Uh, let's see. Glavin is just a junior. Lyons is a junior. So Abington got a lot of uh, their studs in the backfield coming back next year. Really do. They've got a lot of, uh, you know, at the at the skilled positions, they have a lot of people. I think their line is probably going to take the biggest hit. Although you do got quite a few kids coming back. You've got, you know, number 78 coming back, Chevalier. You've got, yep. you know, Paris coming back. You've got quite a few kids coming back. Some young talent at the freshman level right now. And some sophomores. We just saw Josh Martin, one of the primo sophomores. Malafronte in the backfield right now. They give to Glavin. He gets hit in the backfield, spins away, tries to make something happen. He gets taken down. Be a loss of about two on the play. Somebody got through there and just got in the way of the play. They pushed the play back a little bit there. Got some good pressure and uh, penetration there right over the center. And was able to push it back. And then, you know, obviously Glavin couldn't get much going there. So there's, it's gonna... a, there's a guy, Brendan Glavin, in the beginning of the season. You know, you didn't think he was going to be as big of a role player as he was. And he has been outstanding this season. Uh, a guy that you, you look in the backfield and say, oh, you know, he's just another guy who plays. And he is a tough, a tough running back that has really caused a lot of concern for the, for the defenses we played against. No, he is. He's a good running back. He's got some tough yards over this, uh, this past year and really kept a lot of drives going. Tight formation again, third and about seven here. Looking to throw is Dwyer. He's got Donovan down the middle. Donovan trying to get under it. It's picked off at the 18-yard line. Picked off by Frazier. Oh, Frazier gets spun around and upended as he gets up over the 35-yard line. So, another Donovan. interception. Again, if, if Dwyer just, could hold that ball and throw it better, it's just so wet. Well, he had Donovan open. Donovan really had about three or four yards on the guy. It's just, you know, it's just tough to throw the ball downfield 30, 40 yards. That's solid route, which they've done, you know, you know, for the last 15 years or so and been very effective with. It's just a difficult uh, ball to throw right now. 29 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Northridge will take over at their own 36. We have a timeout being called. Green wave timeout. Yeah, I've been going to call a timeout, interestingly enough. One of their first timeouts. We want to remind you of the sponsors for Abingdon Green Wave football, actually for all the Green Wave fall sports, including soccer. Trufant Real Estate on 123 in Brockton Avenue. Thank you yep. to the Trufant Real Trufant Estate Trufant. gang. Deanne's Restaurant, Mike Kokomazi has been great. Always puts Go Green Wave out there on his sign. Robert J. McDonough Insurance and Abingdon Center. Old Town Real Estate, Robert, uh, Roger Woods, class of 81, fullback. Timber Lanes on Route 18. Cairo Associates on Route 18. Quayley Funeral Home on Adams Street. Old Town, sorry, I already said Old Town Real Estate. Eddie Bailey's Garage. Thank you, Jack Bailey, for all you do. We're selling Christmas trees at Bailey's Garage. All the money goes to the boosters. 
Glenn Alapoint Inc. does a lot for uh, everything in Abington, all the, all the fields, the things he does behind the scenes. Depot Restaurant has been an incredible supporter of all things Green Wave. Slattery Insurance in Abington Center, Midway Automotive, Automotive, of course, Mike Devaney and company. And then Slider Jewelers uh, in South Weymouth, a big sponsor now giving out the, the MVP award now starting this year, a watch, specially designed watch for the MVP of each team for each season in Green Wave Sports. First and 10 from the 36-yard line. Looking to Lucas throw. Got him. Rush, Lucas Cherisani with the sack back in the 28-yard line. He's wow. just a monster, Sean. All year long, Luca has just been, you know, the defensive player. Luca Cherisani cannot be blocked. He really hasn't. I, I haven't seen anyone that's blocked him all year long. I cannot wait to see Luca and Sleeney and Toomey out on the basketball court, the three Giants there. Green Wave basketball the fourth quarter. Really good season. And that's the end of the third quarter here. The Green Wave coming back out and getting big cheers from the fans over on the other side. Again, thank you to the fans who have come out here to support them in the inclement weather, but it really doesn't matter. They're here and uh, they're being entertained. I want to remind you, if you'd like to nominate uh, Green Wave athlete of, of your into the Abington High School Athletic Hall of, right. Fame, Hall of Fame, please get on the Abington School website and go to the high school's athletic department page and you'll see the form you can download. It tells you a little bit more about how to nominate someone. They have to have graduated at least 10 years ago. You can do a team, a player, a coach, a community supporter. But the Abington Athletic Hall of Fame is something great that we just started. Uh, we have um, a ceremony each fall and it's gonna be a nice, we're gonna design a nice presentation, a Hall of Fame wall in the new Abington Middle High School. Construction of the new middle high school is gonna start in December of 2015. Well, Sean, you know, uh, congratulations. The, the, the inaugural kickoff of the Hall of Fame dinner was, was a great success and uh, all the hard work that you did to put that together. It's been many, many years in the making and it's been talked about a long time. And, you know, the work and your efforts, obviously, wouldn't have uh, come to fruition without it. So I thank you for your, uh, your hard work there. Well, it's a good, great committee. I can't take all the credit. And I want to thank Pete Serino and Kate Casey, our athletic directors. Uh, they were the ones that really were the impetus to getting this done. They put together a committee. Uh, and we we're glad to start it. We have some great people get inducted. Sue Cashman, uh, an All-American soccer player, the 1980-81 girls basketball team, the state, state champions. champions. John McSherry, a, an unbelievable basketball player from the 70s. Um, Dick Morey, who designed um, and, and invented. invented, sorry, the glass backboard and the portable backboard. And the Abner High School gym is named after Dick, who was a former coach and teacher at Abner High. Masha Crooks, who basically led the way for women's sports at the high school level. Without Masha, I mean, just in Massachusetts, yeah, absolutely. she was phenomenal. And I know I'm forgetting someone else. And uh, well, Chris Donovan right. and Dottie and Shadier, Shadier, the thousand the point store scorers, and the eighty-one basketball team. Yeah, mention yep. them. Members of members of the. Uh, yep. Here we go to start the fourth quarter with the Green Wave up, thirty-six to nothing, in the Division Five East uh, State Championship. I was going to say Eastern Mass Champion, but that's not what it is. At the half, it was only fifteen to nothing. But the Green Wave first play from scrimmage had a 59-yard touchdown run by Sean Donovan. And then after stopping the, uh, the Rams on the next possession, there was a 52-yard punt return by Cawley, adding on another seven after the Cummins PAT. Then BOD with a big interception at the 22-yard line, ran it back to the three-yard line. And from there, Dwyer had the one-yard touchdown to make it 36 to nothing. And here come the Rams in the fourth quarter now. Hand off. I mean, hand off in the backfield, trying to get somewhere, but he's getting peppered. He gets I'll up to you, the 30. Green Wave is just so quick tonight, Sean. I don't know I don't know what they took, but they are just so quick to the ball, and everybody adjusts. You know, there's like a little bit of a misdirection play. The ball, you know, all of Northridge is going one way. Kind of a little bit of a draw there by the by the um, the Rams, and Green Wave is just all over it. Four players right there to make the tackle. Well, you know, we talked about this before the game started. It's so hard to determine the quality of competition that some of these teams coming to Gillette have played out where they play and obviously the South Shore area has been a great haven of football I mean we saw earlier today Cohasset won their Super Bowl, Marshfield won the Super Bowl, Dartmouth won the Super Bowl, it looks like the Green Wave are going to win their Super Bowl. Going to throw, Chauvin puts it up and there's Landers fighting with the ball. Landers, Landers has it, it Landers, Landers got the got pick. It. Landers got the pick. It is Landers. James Landers number 10. He deserves that. He was fighting for it. Usually, if it's a if it's a jump ball, it's an offensive ball. But Landis had that in his bread basket, took it right out of the air. Great defensive coverage once again, and the Green Wave have the ball at the Rams' 45-yard line. 
take it right back at you. He just went up to the highest point, had great position, and had Collie over the back on top, too. 9.08 on the clock. Abington, 45 yards away from tacking another six plus on the board. Get Dwyer in there. Let me see who else in the line, see if they're mixing it up a little bit. You got Chevalier as the center. You got Luca at Paris. Call the tackle. Wide. Two men in the backfield, Donovan and Leon. Donnell Leon, number 34, gets the ball left side. Donnell gets tripped up from behind as he had some so blockers two. ahead of him. Gets two on the, on the run. Well, I think right now, Sean, it's all about you've got great field position. It's all about just taking time off the clock. Hopefully you can get a couple of first downs here and really take a lot of time off the clock. Obviously, there's not enough possessions at this point being up 36 to nothing for the Rams to come back. So really, it's about, you know, getting a lot of guys in here that have worked all year in practice. Get them out here on the field in Gillette. Enjoy the Super Bowl. I'll look at a little flavor and taste of the uh, Super Bowl here at Gillette. Second down for the Green Wave here. Clavin gets it. No, it's a keeper by Dwyer. Gets tripped up, though, as he tried to get the line of scrimmage. I want to thank also Bob and Rita Wing from Sub Galley and Lorena from Lorena's Hair Salon, who have been giving us gift certificates all year long for our players of the game. We're not going to give out players of the game for today's game because this is obviously got, was going to be a team loss or team victory. It obviously looks like it's going to be a team victory, an emphatic victory. But thank you to Sub Galley and Lorena's for your continued support Absolutely. throughout the season. You know, in all these years now, they've been doing it for many, many yeah. years. Well, I don't know. You got to give BOD. You got to give BOD uh, at least the sub galley just for the intercept. You're right. I will. I mean, because <laughs> you know, I'm not going to give him a depot gift certificate because you know he <laughs> he works there and his parents own the place and we're all going to go there and celebrate. Third and seven for the Green Wave. It's the okay. inside handoff to Donovan, but he's going to be stopped in the back. Nope. Still on his feet. Back to the line of scrimmage. Bring up fourth down. So it's going to be fourth and about uh, six here for the Green Wave. Great story earlier, uh, the Holliston game. I got friends in Holliston, the O'Connell family. Their son, Timmy, died of cancer at 10 years old. He would have been playing in today's game. His teammates decided, and as you know, whoever wins these games, the jersey for the winning team gets hung at Patriot Place here at Gillette Stadium. So the Holliston jersey will hang, and it's going to be number seven in honor of Timmy O'Connell. I'm proud to say that the Green Wave jersey is going to be number 12, uh, my father's jersey. So um, this has a lot of obviously special mm -hmm. meaning to me and my family, and uh, to the O'Connell family. Who they were, Kevin O'Connell was my college roommate, so it's special to both Picked. families. Picked off by number five. That's Alexander Dowd. The fourth down conversion, but no big deal. So, so it's going to be. Just under seven minutes to go here, Sean, and the, uh, I know the crowd's getting excited over there, and the, and the kids probably just can't wait for these seven minutes to tick off the clock here. But, geez, what an explosion. They're coming off of that, you know, that first half. You would thought that you know, maybe you know, Northbridge might have come out after halftime thinking that you know, there's an opportunity here to get back in this ball game, and you know, the Green Wave just didn't let up and really put on those three quick scores just to put the game away. Well, that's where I think Coach Keller and his coaching staff always try to defer if they win the toss because they want to get that opening kickoff. Their, their goal is to score at the end of the first half, get the opening kickoff of the second half, and score again. And no one could have anticipated how quickly and how, how they scored in that third quarter, how quickly and emphatically with the Aiden Cawley run, uh, punt return, and the Donovan run is a screen being set up in the middle. And it's going to be to Jake Wood. Wood going down the right side now, tries to cut it back, flag, flag thrown. There's a block in the back there. Yep. Block in the back. Oh. Came back and chipped him in. Geez, Schofer was about 20 yards back behind the line of scrimmage. Now, Sam Alafronte stayed back, you know, watching for that screen specifically, but he just wasn't able to keep up with him. They got a little bit of a run, but block in the back down at about the... Uh, at the 42-3. Two. So uh, it's not going to be a first down. So it's actually going to be first down and probably, what, seven or eight, I think, correct? So they mock. They oh, mock. It's right it was, okay, it so it's going to be first and ten again, essentially. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Six know. thirty-six left to go here in the game with Abington Green Wave up thirty-six to nothing here in the Division Five State Championship. Who, baby? Well, it's just, I mean, I don't know, Sean. I'm speechless, and I, that doesn't happen very often. I know. This has been a very impressive victory. And Kevin and I were talking, ask us six weeks ago that this team would have gone this far and been in Gillette. No way. And all of a sudden, they just started to mm. gel. 
They played like they knew they could play, and they proved what they had to be proven. And even when people were writing them up, they weren't picked to win this game. Mm. ESPN and, and some of the other uh, prognosticators said they haven't seen a team like Northbridge. Well, fa sports fans, it's obvious now, Northbridge hasn't seen a team like Abington. Absolutely. Brendan Hall. Brennan Hall picked, picked North. He said, well, I'll do respect to Abington, which I wow. appreciated that caveat, but it will be great to see wow. him after the game. Wow, we'll have to. Uh... Colton, you're going to get down there on the field after the game? We're going to try to get down there after the game. They're going to have the trophy presentation on the field uh -huh. and see if we can get some words. Although, some his, the although his parents, and Brendan Hall's parents are Abington people, you know, he, he was a Central Mass kid. That's right. Oakmont High. First down. Schofer trying to run it on his own, but he's got Cellini and Charisani. <laughs> Cellini barracks him down. What are you thinking? <laughs> nice a, job by Cellini. It's almost like Luca pulled up there, Sean, and said, hey, George, it's your yeah, turn. Yeah, you take it, would you? <laughs> Absolutely. What do you call them, Kev? The Mount Vernon boys. They keep burying people, Sean. <laughs> Second and 17, a long 17 for the Northwich Rams. Just under six minutes to go here. Well. Both teams the, only thing, the only thing I would say to George, though, the one critique I have on that play, you got to make sure he doesn't get out of bounds. Right. <laughs> yeah. So the clock keeps rolling. Rolling, rolling. Exactly. Both teams have about a 45-minute ride home, but the green waves is going to feel a lot shorter. Hand off to Jake Wood, right side. Got a little hold of Salini. Salini once again. Him. Takes him down with some help by, it looks like, Kearney. Um, also want to send a shout-out and thank you to the Abbott Police Department and Fire Department. Um, they gave him a... a um, Escort home when they won the semifinal game, the state semifinal game against Bishop Fenwick. But they also escorted the Green Wave team out of town tonight to get them pumped up for the ride to Gillette, knowing that this is truly uh, quite an honor to be here at Gillette. And, uh, and now they'll be waiting for them at the town line to escort them back to the Froyo School uh, victorious in the first ever state championship. This is only the second year of the state championships, but this is the first Green Wave team to actually claim the title as state champion. Bit, right. This is as in football. Obviously, the Green Wave has two other state championships with the girls' basketball of 81 and the 2009 boys' baseball team. Shotgun for Kobe Schofer. Schofer throws it right, connects, but he's far short of the first down. We, of course, this year we have another state champion at Abbott High School. That's, that's right. Etienne Burgoyne. Individual. That's right. A, uh, Forgot to golf, mention him. Golf state champion from Abington High School, which is unbelievable. And, again, so proud of you, Etienne, the boy from Orange Street. Ran out of Strawberry Valley product, and um, he took home the state championship for the Green Wave. An individual scoring and a really tough day to golf, too. Fourth down now, the ball marked at the 46 of Abington. They're trying to get on the board, going here for it on for a fourth down. Fourth and three. Schofer under his center. Malafronte shows blitz, comes up the middle. They fake the handoff. They throw out into the flat, and it's going to be incomplete. A turnover on downs. They're going to Jake Wood, but Cellini was knocking on the door right yeah, there. Absolutely. Cellini has great closing speed for a big guy. He's like 6'2", 220, 225. But I'll tell you, he runs, you know, he runs like a 5'10", 150-pound kid. So the Greenway will take over the ball at their own 46-yard line with 4.54 to go in the game. And ooh, baby. Absolutely. You know, and, and you got to take, you know, give so much credit to this team, Sean. Just taking it right to Northbridge. You know, first couple of uh, series back and forth a little bit, but the Green Wave, you know, able to make a couple plays, give them good fail position, you know, give themselves good fail position from the special teams, and they're able to take advantage of it, and really that was the game. Handoff is up to, looks like Donovan. Is it Donovan? Nope, nope, nope. That's Dave Lyons getting the carry, number 21 for the Green Wave. Gets about a two-yard pickup. Come under five minutes remaining in the ball game. Well, you got to give credit. Every time the Green Wave has made it to the playoffs, to the to the Super Bowl, Sean, they have won. That's an incredible feat. That's four out of four. No. And kudos to them. I mean, and there's been some great games. The St. Mary's game was a, one, a, a wonderful game a couple years ago over at Curry. And, of course, the Archbishop William game in 2005 was another great game. We've lost a few hot breakers in the playoffs, but hand off to Leon. Leon left side gets hung up by someone who's got his by his shoelaces there. Brian Dwyer, the senior quarterback, sometimes doesn't get the credit that he deserves because uh, you know he can make things, make plays out of broken plays. He sees the ball well, 
uh, sees the field well and can throw Quite honestly, well. Sean, we would not be here tonight if it wasn't for that great play against Cardinal Spellman right. that he broke off and they finally scored. I mean, they, they, they again, they get, you know, they, they took advantage of short fields all that whole second half, but, you know, that was the, that was really the game breaker right there because Green Wave was down at that time and he was able to break it in and get a touchdown. And go back early in the season against Cardinal Spellman when Landers had a big hit at the goal line to stop them from scoring. And then you got Aiden Carley running back the kickoff against East Bridgewater in the playoff After game. After they scored, right, which was a backbreaker. Looking to throw is Dwyer. Calls incomplete. Intended receiver was Cawley. Yeah, Dwyer, it's, you know, it's just a, a tough night to throw tonight. It really is. I mean, these balls are not, I mean, I mean, you know, this Northbridge team, which that's what they do, is really having a difficult time with it as well. And that's green, you know, great why the Green Wave has had a balanced attack and, <clears throat> you know, been able to, uh, you know, run the ball. So that's why you do. You have a good, you know, bad weather like this. The Green Wave has a balanced attack. They're able to run and pick and choose what they're going to do. Fourth and nine, the lineup for the punt. pooch punt. So you got Dwyer and Donovan in the backfield. Kobe Schofer back inside his 30. Donovan with it going left, kicks it. High kick. Coming down and rolling inside the 15, rolling down outside the 11 yard line. Good job by Donovan. And pins him back deep with 3.15 to go here in the state championship. Chris Marshfield wearing their green today, Sean, and Abington wearing their green today. Both both end up winning. I think Marshfield's was, what, 40-something? It was a 40, thrashing. 40 to nothing, but that was pretty much at halftime. And Green Wave doing the same here, 36 to nothing. And their home green jerseys. Well, it's great to, you know, people, folks that aren't here, it's, it's really great to see, though. I mean, you got the both big screens down at both of the end zones. You know, and they, they do the replays and everything else. So it is such a fantastic venue for the kids. Oh. There's Colton running around the, the end zone now. He left the press box. He's going over there to join his classmates on the sidelines. High backfield for the Rams. Chauffeur hands off right side. Looks like that's Jake Wood again, I believe, number 32. Interesting, as you said, Kevin, they've kind of given up on throwing and trying to run, which is not what they do. They, right. Three minutes in rolling here. And uh, got to be proud of the boys from Abington High School. Really, they just took it to them, Sean. And, you know, there was a lot of talk as far as the high-powered offense. And they just shut them down. I mean, you know, the pressure that they were able to put on in that first half was just phenomenal. And, you know, I don't think I've ever seen it. I mean, they did it in East Bridgewater as well, though. I right. mean, they really just turned it up a notch. And they even turned it up another notch from that tonight. I want to see what the final numbers are, though, because Northbridge has not really accumulated that much yardage. And, again, not a first down you know, in that play. You know, Sean, and talk about defensively, too. Last week against Bishop Fenwick, or the, not last week, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago against Bishop Fenwick, totally different team, right? right? They run the ball. Abington's able to change their personnel, the same personnel, but change how they do business and basically shut down the most prolific running back in the state. Right. You know, so you got to really get the record the next game. You know, so the, you know, so Rufus Russians, you know, a guy that, you know, has just basically been running over people, they were totally able to change their, uh, change it. Third and three now from the 17-yard line. Shotgun formation for Schofer. Again, don't, don't knock Northridge out. They'll be back next year with this junior and sophomore class again. Hand up up the middle, gets the first down. Tackled by Malafronte and Ryan Landers. Want to thank, of course, our assistant coaches over there. Ed Riley, our offensive coordinator. Jim Daly, our defensive coordinator. Scott Piper, Mike Bruning, Brian McSherry, Tim Wells. Freshman coaching staff, Jay Brown, Tim O'Brien, Keith Faxon, and Bella Kabongo, who are all over there on the sidelines. And, of course, our beloved head coach for the 30, 41st year, Jim Kelleher. He uh, dyed his hair green again for tonight, so it's a nice bright green for the Super Bowl for the state championship here. Hand up up the middle. Wood, right side, breaks free for about eight. And uh, Jim's going to be very happy, and it's going to be a joyous bus ride home for the boys in the green. Absolutely, and uh, it's going to be a long ride for Northbridge, unfortunately for them. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a long, wet night. It is know? amazing, the, the streaks that the Green Wave have snapped. Absolutely. I mean, like three in a row here at yeah. this point. You know, just unbelievable. I mean, was it um, Bishop Fenwick was 27 and 0, 27 in a row when we stopped, and these guys here at Northbridge are 11 and 0, I believe it was, this season. But yeah. uh, no chance against that. And there's Ray Emery once Emery. again. You know, getting some help out there as well by Kearns. But I'll tell you, number 43 had a heck of a game tonight. He when sure he, did. Early in the game, really kind of holding his ground and a couple of big plays that, you know, they could have got some big yardage. You know, he stepped up. Ray Emery having a great season. For Another example of the guy who got better every week was Ray Emery. 
You know, at the beginning of the season, we didn't call his number a lot. And all of a sudden, you just started seeing him in on the tackles. Then you started seeing him make the tackles, and they're a good play. Green Wave out of the field, whooping up their fans. As we come down to 33 seconds in the Green Wave on the cusp of their fourth Super Bowl victory, the first state title for the football team. 24 seconds and rolling. Third down. Whistles. What are we getting, a timeout? I think guy uh, Or the delay a game. Timeout, Abington, and they're going to take some of the seniors out, I believe. Well, they're putting in like Rob Toomey, who's uh, had an injury oh, number yeah. 77. There he is. He's coming out. You get Rob Toomey, number 77, coming into the game. He just got off an injury, and he was cleared to play. They said they put him in one play. They want to save him for next year and for the basketball season. So big number 77's out there. Make sure we uh, again thank all of our seniors. Brian Dwyer, Aiden Cauley, James Landers, Josh Reardon, Johnny Kearns, Ray Emery, Dexter Chevalier, Sam Malafronte, Cole Jansen, Luca Cherisani, George Cellini, Brian O'Donovan, and Rob Toomey. Those have been the leaders of this team, and they are taking home the hardware to the Green Wave. And we're going to try to get down there and talk. The Green Wave is just ready to rush the field here. A second timeout. I don't know who else wants to get They're in. They're calling out the seniors now. All the seniors coming out. Wow. What a, tr just a convincing, overwhelming victory by the Avenue Green Wave. Coach Kelleher shaking hands right, with the go. seniors. They've all got the Danny Vasilian camouflage hats over there, which Danny was one of the guys that they wanted to win for this season. And uh, I think Danny's looking down upon us. These guys are fighting hard like any good Marine or any good Greenway football player would. Well, the Green Wave only have uh, 10 out there right now. Two, four, six, eight, ten. They're only playing with 10. And they're going to douse Coach Kell with the Gatorade. They hand it off. They soak Coach Kell. And Wood trying to break away. There's a block in the back. He's not, Cuts it back. And let's go tackle him. There you go. He's out of bounds. We want to make sure, we, I'd like to keep it as a 36-0. Well, eight, eight seconds remaining on the clock here, and Coach Kell getting a well-deserved uh, drenching of the Gatorade bucket. Will Curtin with the tackle. Well, we we'll just want to say again, congratulations to the kids, but also the coaches. I mean, you don't, I don't think people understand the time and, oh. the, and the effort that these guys put in to, uh, you know, to make it all happen. Kev, we're going to have to plan another Super Bowl banquet. Uh. <laughs> She's just when his wife thought it was over, Sean. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> First Ball on the 20-yard line with eight seconds left to go. 36 to nothing. Green Wave's up. Under the center is Kobe Schofer. Looking to throw. Going in to Jake Wood. And he's going to be out of bounds yeah. with good. two seconds to go at the eight-yard line. This game will not end. Green Wave on the sideline ready to rush the field. So on I. Well, congratulations once again. Just a great, uh, a great job by these guys. Just like you said, got better every week and just worked hard in practice all the time. And just congratulations to them. Hopefully they can. Uh, Kevin, I want to enjoy thank this you win. Thank you, this. Sean, all I'm the effort, Bill, of course, and Norm down on the field. Glad just to see these young guys getting out there in the Gillette turf too for their experience. They can say they were there. Last play of the game. Chauffeur to fading back, looking to throw, goes to the corner, and it'll touchdown. be a touchdown. The last play of the game. To Brooks, the Chandler, to Brooks. Chandler Brooks. Kind of uneventful, but it breaks the goose egg. Well, they got to do they do the PAT? With no time left on the clock, they're not going to bother. As the Green Wave now rush the field and celebrate a con in a convincing manner a 36 to 6 win here at the Division 5 State Championship at Gillette Stadium. Kevin couldn't have asked for more on the defense and the offensive side. We I'll saw. tell you, they set the tone, Sean. We talked about the line of scrimmage being, you know, the line of scrimmage being what was going to turn this game, and they took it away. The three things we said they needed to do, they did. You know, they stopped the slant routes. They stopped the line. Of, they controlled the line of scrimmage, you know, put pressure on Sofa, and they spied them all day long, so Sofa could not get any uh, room running. So the Green Wave, you got to give them credit. They did exactly what they needed to do to win this game. Colton right down there in line with the team. I'm going to head down to the field. Bill, I want to thank you. I know Bill's going to keep the film rolling for the trophy presentation. 
Congratulations to the Avenue Green Wave state champions.
still get you.